150 show. The 5150 show. 5150 show. Stop being so sensitive, bitch! <laughs> you ain't no bad bitch for real, I seen you before you got your ass and titty done. Is Trina there? Trina. World, are y'all ready? You know what's up when this sound begin. We about to go in. Let's do it. Yeah. seen no show like this Cracking jokes and singing we won't miss 5150 up in this bitch yeah. You ain't never seen a show like this Ghetto folks gonna be all in their bliss Trying to make you laugh until you piss yeah. You ain't never seen no show like this, yeah. 5150-2022, it's on. I'm about to say some real things. Hit the mic and bring the pain. Cause you ain't never seen no show like this. Motherfucker, 50 in the house. What y'all thought, man? We, 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 man, it ain't enough time in the day for us to do this show because we about to talk this shit. Yeah, I'm dude. Corey Holcomb. This is Darlene OGOT. Craig Fax in the house. Yay. The nigga, don't act like you don't know who the fuck this <laughs> is. It's motherfucking Scrancho in this motherfucking nigga. Welcome, welcome, what up, welcome. what? Man, come on, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep it 1,000, man. It's an honor to be here because, you know, <laughs> everybody don't get a chance to come here because I don't really see you with a lot of goofy niggas on the show. So, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Plus, you know, you one of my favorite. I only got a few favorite comedians like you. I like D.L. Hughley, Faison Love, uh, Eddie Griffin, and yeah. I like that little, that little nigga Charleston White. Charleston oh, yeah. White. Yeah, yeah. 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 You know I mean? yeah. We going we to talk about that, oh, but look. I'm gonna tell y'all right now. I, I talked to the brother TK Kirkland on the phone. Did you? So I wanna say this just off top about mm. TK Kirkland. I've been doing comedy since the 90s. Let me mm. keep it real with you, man. Talently, it ain't nobody like TK Kirkland. He should be in the Comedy Hall of Fame. <clears throat> I wanna say that off top. That's my opinion. I don't see a lot of motherfuckers doing his style is not like nobody else's. 
it, it's an original style. When I saw it, it was one of the first styles that made me go, oh shit, this nigga talking straight up to them bitches. <laughs> so I want to give him his flowers in the beginning. Now we're going to discuss things that's in the air. Right, you know what right, I'm right, saying? Right, right, right. But I don't want, I don't want to see, because see, it's some headline out there already where it seems like I hate TK Kirkland and all that shit. It's I don't hate nobody. The only niggas I really the only nigga I really would never smile with or play with is the nigga G Strain. Cause he tried to send some gangsters my way. Yeah. And the gangsters knew me. They was like, who Corey? You get what I'm saying? Right, yeah. So it's like that's one nigga I could never fix that with. I could yeah. never fix that with G Strain. But it ain't nothing out here that happened in the game that I could say my wisdom, my know-how, and everything couldn't handle. Yeah. Nothing never happened. I'm all I'm able to handle most of the shit. It's crazy because you know the way you feel about G thing is kind of the way I feel about TK, right? Really? Because oh. here's the thing. Um, let me just keep it 1,000 because ever since I had to be with him, in seven years I never spoke on it. And the only reason I'm speaking on it now is because he been telling everybody I snuck up on him and hit him back in here with a pipe, right? Really? The that only, ain't what happened? No, nah, no. Nah, I'm gonna keep it what happened. This what happened. And, and Squanch, yo, let me just keep, keep it a buck, can nigga. Keep it all the way one thousand. Keep 000. it a buck. I always just, you know, because I don't like to speak on victories. You see what I'm saying? But this is what happened, and, and, and you gotta remember this, man. Listen, with with, with TK, the 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 the. the See, everybody try to make you think of a female thing. Mark is coming. He running a little late in case everybody wants See, he try to make you, bitch niggas like to hide real shit behind a bitch. But let me just say this for the record, because I don't usually even speak on this, but let me just say this. I fuck like a motherfucking gorilla, nigga. I'm more gifted. You talking about sex? Sex, nigga. Look, I fuck like a gorilla. I'm more gifted below the waist than I am in anything I do. Stop flirting with me, So, nigga. So let me just say this. I said that to say this, nigga. So, so I said that to say this, cause I'm never gonna get mad at what a mother a pussy and dick transaction. You know what I'm saying? But it's it's not it's about uh. But when you throw me under the bus, when you throw me under the bus, I don't give a fuck who you is or what you is. I'm gonna try to knock your noodles off, nigga, because you don't have to throw me under the bus and knock no bitch, period. Cause I don't give a fuck about no pussy and dick transaction. Why would I get mad at any bitch to choose to settle for less? You dig what I'm saying? I'm a motherfucking G, nigga. I ain't gonna never get mad behind what a, a female do with her pussy or a bitch do with the whoopty whoopty woo. Cause we you know all fucking the same. It, bitch. it is, it is what it is. But when you throw me under the bus <laughs> and then you hide behind the bitch, but see, TK's a, you know, he's a real sucker, homie. When I knocked the nigga out the first time, he tried to, I knocked him out because I asked him, I tried, cause I like TK, I looked up to him, I, I, you know, he's slick, but I just went out, I said, TK, why would you throw me under the bus? And all he had, us to me throwing you an alley hoop, all you had to say is, oh man, you know what, I didn't even know that was your bitch, uh, idiot, you know how he talk, yeah. but the nigga hit me with, you really on your feelings. I said, what? I said, oh, this nigga really think I'm a sucker. So I said, I tell you what, homie, since you want to throw me under the bus and don't want to take accountability, when you see me, nigga, I'm going to knock your motherfucking noodles off. So when you see me, even duck, run, pray, fight, but just know a punch is coming. Hold on. Let me just interrupt the emotion because I want everybody to be aware of this who ain't aware of this. I'm the type of motherfucker, man. I'm a man. I'm going to do what the fuck I got to do. But I don't want this little fat finger nigga to hit no, me. No. This no. motherfucker hey, is no, a mutant. No. Hey. <laughs> we can talk about this before the show. If me and Scratch don't have beef, we going to work it out to God. We going to talk this shit out because I don't want this nigga yeah, no, to hit me. Because this a heavy head to dig Do you ever take up boxing? Yeah, I box. But here's the thing. And I never been, listen, my whole life, check my resume. I never been a shit starter. I ain't never started a fight. And I done took my shit. Not, are you a bully? No, nigga, I never bullied nobody. I never started shit. I'm the nicest thing in the industry. I, I could go to any hood because I don't start shit. I don't have to walk around with a gun. I'm humble. Nigga, even if I'm wrong, I take a, I take, a nigga cut me off and I cut a nigga off in traffic. Nigga swoop and start talking major shit to me because I knew I was wrong. I took it. This is a testosterone show. I see, dude. I know. I'm like, you guys cool, do your thing. Cool, right? So now, but TK, <laughs> the type of nigga, man. Last week we had job type of show. Uh -huh. He's a he's a dirty nigga, man. I'm gonna tell you something else he did. You 
you don't knock niggas out who don't go by a certain set of hood rules. If you say you a hood nigga and you got that mentality and you buy into them rules, then you can, and that'd be different if it was Ron G, no disrespect to Ron G. If you go sock on a nigga like Ron G, he's supposed to press charges on you because, <laughs> because he say he, he's a cool square. You know, everybody ain't a snitch. You know what I mean? If if your mama, if my mama, somebody break in her house and she call the police, she's not a snitch. She's a she's a civilian. She's right. doing what she's supposed to do. Right. But when you go under a certain set of rules and you swear you this and you that, you can't just talk about you a real nigga that turn around and snitch. The nigga took caught the nigga happened. Listen, the nigga pressed charges on me. <laughs> he didn't ask for a fade. So Mike Epps and TC called and said, Scruncho wanted me just catch a fade and y'all fight it out. That nigga said, he got to pay for my operating room. I said, what you want, nigga? Pay? I can't. The nigga pressed charges on me, homie. And I'm I was laughing. Like, I'm not laughing at nobody. I don't want to be known as nah, an instigator. Nah, but he said he But you got to get this off. Man, he get said he was on. a real nigga and he pressed charges. And then he said, there's time I'm a real nigga. But you press charges and try to hold me with the bill. And then to make it even more dirty, he tried to, he played both sides of the fence. Then he went and tried to put a hit on me and sick a nigga on me, but found out the nigga found out who I was. You no, know, nigga, I'm 10 toes solid. Nigga, they called me, Wooty Woo, we have a big meeting, because they found out this nigga was Wooty Wooty Woo, and they, we just gonna backfire. I said, man, nah, just let it go. Because when when he's tried to get a nigga to snitch on me, the nigga had major love for me that tried to put the hit on me, That's and these homies got in contact with me. <laughs> yeah. you know I feel I mean? you. So let me so, ask you a question, Scrancho. Why you let it go, G? And be honest, let because it out for real. What? Because guess you you, you, no, you you putting it out there. No, I'm Why you let it go, G? Only reason I let the shit go is because I had to accept accountability for some things. Number one, I had no business socking that man in front of the comedy clubs because that's sacred ground. That's where we bone, hone our skills. And that was that was a, a platform that was set us for us to win. That's I was thinking that because I was going to fight David Arnold yeah. at the Lab Factory. And I stopped you from fighting the nigga. You was there that night? I stopped you. I said, don't do it. I said, Dave, don't go outside. You're going to get this nigga, out. This nigga passed, right? Yeah, he passed. And I never shitted on you him know for real. Said, but it, niggas didn't know yeah, how much of a fuck fight, nigga that was. And he said, he said, let's go outside. I said, nigga, don't do that. He said, and he thought about it. He said, Corey, I'm not going to fight you. I'm a grown man. I am sorry. I don't, I'm not, I got kids. I forgot you was there. I stopped See, when him. the man passed, I ain't going to shit on him while the man all. passed. I said, but I that said, nigga was Corey a fuck was hot. I nigga. Said, I, said, I, said, I said, don't do that, Dave, man. Y'all don't, because I don't believe in, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I, I rather protect. I don't want to see two comics get in it. No, you did. You know I remember saying? now. It, Look, it, 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 it is sacred ground, though. Yeah, it's sacred. We shouldn't fight up at the comedy we club. Should. So when I did that, I was wrong. You know what I mean? And then when I, um, you know, and then when I did it at the, the at the, the, I ain't going to say where I did it at, but that was wrong because Pookie worked hard to build that club up for us to shine, and I brought that hood mentality in there. Even though I was right about hood standards, nigga, I was all the way out of pocket and it hurt my career and set me back which it should because everybody got to suffer for what they you got to take some accountability for the decisions you that's, made that's, that's you what i what want saying? people to see who yeah. you are yeah. i knew that's why i asked you that question because see when i talk to scratch on the phone i find out how wise this nigga is see <laughs> you don't know when you first see this nigga this nigga know a lot of shit. <laughs> that's why I'm glad you got that off. Yeah. Because you needed to get that off. Yeah, and I always held back because I felt like it was a community, you know what I mean? And at one time, I like, you know what? We have to see each other all the time at different shows. I'm going to just let it go, you know what I'm saying? But now you tell everybody else. What? First of all, L.A. niggas don't sneak up behind niggas and sock them with, hit them with. And when I hit the nigga, the nigga got a glass jaw. The nigga's a sucker, man. I hit that nigga. I hit him <laughs> one punch, you know what I'm saying? Squad Joe, and, but on, you got a I fat hit, ass fish, when I, nigga. When I, when I hit the nigga, the nigga was already knocked out before he hit the ground. Go on shit, and Marcus, and ground, come sit down. His Marcus. head fell backwards, and his head bounced off the pavement and almost killed him. He was foaming from the mouth and oh, bleeding in the back of his head. Now, if I was a really a dog nigga and I was really trying to you do something to that nigga, I'd have stomped him out, but I wasn't, it, wasn't a, it wasn't a revenge or angry. It was a respect thing. I felt, I, I had so much you love. You nigga to see who you was, no, nigga. No, yeah, Corey, I had so much love for the nigga. I swear to God, I almost helped the nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's what happened I with Scope Bubble. I almost gave the nigga CPR, nigga. I said, this nigga. <laughs> R.I.P. Scope Bubbles. Scope Bubble got robbed, and he had his gout. 
when the nigga laid him down and went oh, through his pocket, okay. he saw the gout, and the nigga's like, come on, G, let me help you up. That's oh, that oh. gout shit. Right? He robbed him and he helped him up. Oh, he robbed him and he helped him up. Hey, you know what? It's the ironic thing that you say. <laughs> Guess who told me TK was a hoe? It was it was a Skull Bubba. He says TK went in there and, you know, got beat up or something, and nigga came in the bar at the police and snitched on everybody. The day I got arrested, right, they kicked in my dog, knocked in my dog, came, my little, me and my little daughter, my daughter answered the door. She said, Dad, it's a bunch of police in the living room. I come in the room, they like, we are going for your arrest. I'm on TK file charges. So they embarrassed me in front of my daughter off a post of a real nigga fight, right? I go to the police car, and I swear to God, I'm not making this up, man. <laughs> Wait, it's funny. Listen, a <laughs> snitch sit in back of the car, police car. An informant sit in the front. TK was sitting so close, if he didn't slid to the left, he'd have been driving. <laughs> <laughs> they showed up with the police to take me to jail, man. And I asked, I said, man, and guess what? I swear to God, I put this on my kids, homie. When I knocked that nigga out, I, I, all kind of anonymous callers called me and thanked me. Two niggas paid for, I don't even know who they was. They paid for my attorney fees. They bailed me out of jail. It was about, man, I sw I got over 50 calls thanking me because everybody was scared of him. He's a bully. That's why what he did to Charleston White, you know what I'm saying? That was wrong, homie. You don't let no nigga do no nine shows. Hold on, we got a Mississippi for. lawyer finna sit down. <laughs> sit your garbage ass. Sit your garbage ass <laughs> down, <laughs> Marcus. Everybody, Marcus, everybody, well, no, Marcus, everybody, everybody think we Marcus, everybody think we beefing. You know that. Uh, don't address oh, that shit. They gonna make up all this stuff. What's up, man? Right. What up? No, hey, Squatcho, yeah. I'm glad you're getting this off because yeah. you, I'm sure it make you feel better to get it off. I, did, yeah. I didn't know. But when did it I, do? I mean, like, it, it is what it is. Man, I, I knocked that I nigga out twice. Out. I knocked the nigga out when I first knocked him out, right? And then <laughs> the second time I knocked him out is because I got out of jail that day. And when I got out of jail that day, most snitches will run different states and get disappear. This nigga act like I wasn't going to get out of jail. Right. So he when he was at performing at the comedy store the night I got out. Mm -hmm. So when he when he, when I got out, I thought that was more insulting. But I knew whatever I had to do, I had to hurry up and do it again because if once he go to court, the judge gonna put a uh 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 well we well, I, we know how it go. Order, right. So uh, so I had to get him again. So I went to the comedy store, hopped on the stage with the paperwork, and re I heard his about ass that, out. Nigga. Re him out again, right? This nigga pressed charges on me and then went to the, went to the, and man, I'm telling you, it was a, you would think it was an OJ trial. Nigga, when I went to court, man, he a, he wouldn't stood a chance coming to court. Nigga was a thousand real niggas in there every court date. Nigga, ah, niggas I didn't even know. I didn't know if they was there for me or TK, but they was all there for me. Nigga, they thought I was OJ because he's a whole nigga. He disrespectful and Charleston White. Man, that little dude, I was, and I ain't saying this because, because I, I think I ain't going to never take away his talent. The nigga gifted as a motherfucker. You know what I mean? Who that? TK. And you gonna, see I give him his yeah, problems, I'm a, I'm a, I ain't going to I I, 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 mix. I know what you coming on yeah, the show. Mix, you got to tell your yeah, story. Yeah, I ain't going to mix facts with reality. He, the right. nigga gifted. The nigga funny. But I went to the show in Vegas, you know what I'm saying, because my wife loved Charleston White. You know what I'm saying? Because he, Charleston, he say what people can't say. That's why you my favorite comedian. That's why Charleston my favorite comedian. Cause y'all saying shit I can't even say. You know what I'm saying? Fuck politically correct. You niggas are just correct. You know what I mean? So I like Charleston White. When I went there, I'm not. On, I don't know what happened to TK that night. But Charleston White killed the show. I, I didn't know because you know it's hard for. It's going to show you a comedian who's been around long yeah, enough. Been a long Let time. me ask you a question, Charleston White. You say he killed the show. Is Man. he ready? To do 15, 20 minutes a man, night in front listen, of niggas? Man, see, sometime in comedy, I, I, I've been doing this comedy 25 years, and I've never seen nobody that fast timing beats. You can see a little amateur, some stuff in there, but for, when his, his delivery, his timing, he got likability, he got good Where's energy. He? You know he said he's talking about Charleston White. Yeah, he got likability. He's he got from good Charleston energy. White is from Texas, energy. but I think he lived he here. He's lovable. Yeah, he's the nigga tells some raw truth, <clears throat> and plus people want him to win. You know, some people got that. You know, some comedians get on stage and they just it love is, you. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And who he is when he talk on on the internet, that ain't. The, he's like you. You talk so much shit about bitches, but niggas be loving you because you got that charm 
And Charleston White got the same thing. And I'm not just saying that because I don't like TK, because I thought TK was going to come out and do some shit because he a veteran and ain't nothing going up behind, you know. But, man, they was running out on that nigga, man. You wrong for jumping on that old dad, dude. Man, so I thought, I, when TK Marcus came, fuck up. Oh, you beat up old nigga. Marcus, get your ass out of here. Marcus fight, Marcus fight, old nigga. Man, TK is 6'3", 250 pounds. At the time, nigga, I'm 5'6", nigga, 180. Hold on, hold on. y'all tell these motherfuckers, TK ain't no little motherfucker. TK is a big old nigga, man. That nigga whole got Arms. You see what I'm saying? Did he, did he get niggas. bigger? Did he get bigger after you fought him? But he was already yeah, swole. Already swole, man. I, I thought he was lifting weights after you fought him. You ain't shit. <laughs> man, TK was always a big old dude, man. That nigga ain't no. Get Craig some coffee so he can shit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> man. And, and we are, I'm an old nigga too. I ain't no hate. So look, <laughs> so look, check this out. On the real, look. Okay, so look, you got that off, and I'm glad you got it off because yeah. you need to get it off. Yeah. Now. What we finna do on the show, because I think it's fair, we need to try to give a little information about what it's like working as a stand-up comedian as you breaking into the business. The, I'm talking about the business end of things, because a lot of people think it's all glory, and it's not all glory. Yeah. You know what I'm but, saying? But even, even at the fact that TK, I seen an interview where he threw the little dude through Charles and White, under the stay, under the bus, and Charles and White obviously looked up to the nigga, and you could tell he was hurt because he was showing this nigga love, and he was trying to say, I looked up to TK, and TK get up there, that nigga wasn't funny, you know what I mean, and they wanted to fire you anyway. He doubled down and just threw the nigga under the bus, but see, here go the thing you gotta learn about TK. Mm. Look at his track record. He only fuck real, he only fuck niggas. He don't he never fuck nothing outside his race. Everybody he beat, robbed, and fucked over is a nigga. That's all he do. He he's, he hustle every. If you show love for him, is a form of weakness. And if you see he show you too much love, he gonna run through you. Cause that's the type of nigga he is. T to the motherfucking K. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Man, that's and he, and he we can set up a, a celebrity boxing match, nigga. Winner take all. I guarantee. Ain't nobody boxing your motherfucking nah, ass. Nigga, that we get a fight, dog. Everything <laughs> count, nigga. Yep. <laughs> well, that, go, nigga. Go, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> <laughs> There's one yeah. white boy that might be able to, that y'all would be a good fight. He was a boxer. Oh. Sean, uh, damn, what's Sean? He's a comedian? Last night? Yeah, he was 28 and 2 or something as a boxer. He actually fought as a pro. Sean, yeah, Sean Kerrigan. He must have been better as he a boxer because so I ain't never heard of him. I can't think of my nigga name. He from Philly. Uh, he he boxed. Uh, oh, you talking about. Uh, uh, what's his name? You know him, Scratch yeah, Show. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Danny Green. Danny Green, yeah. Danny Danny Green yeah. box. Yeah, yeah, have Danny. you ever seen him box? Yeah, Danny yeah. got hands. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. And he don't look yeah. like it, though, yeah, do he? Danny it. got hands. He don't look like Danny it. Was, <laughs> Danny, <laughs> Danny, <laughs> Danny Green to surprise your ass. Is that why he talked with a lisp? <laughs> yeah. that's what, look, that's what to set you up. You'll be like, who's this lisp talking motherfucker? Don't motherfucker like, with a lisp. Be, 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 I don't know why they be able, be able to fight like that. <laughs> that's right. Hilarious. Hey, man, so if you're a young comic, listen to me. Let me. I'm going to try to give you a little quick crash course in this. Whatever money you negotiate, that's on you. Like, if you say, give me $20 a show, and you get there, and it's 5,000 motherfuckers, Listen, you told them people you would do it for twenty dollars a show. Remember that. Yeah. Whatever money you negotiate, because yeah. the reason you take low money is because you don't want to miss an opportunity. But as you get older in this game, you find out you're gonna have to miss opportunities to be who the fuck you need to be. You want to be who you gotta be. You're gonna have to tell motherfuckers, no, nigga, you gotta give me at least this yeah, exactly. in order for me to do this shit. Right. Mm. That's a that's that's all part of learning the that's game. Learning the game. You know what I'm saying? Don't exactly. let no motherfucker give you no sucker money, and when you get there, you complaining about the sucker money. It was the cold thing about it. He made that dude do all them shows and, 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 and told him he gonna send him a check in the mail. I mean, that's an old trick. You know what I mean? But Charles and White, he could tell Charles White looked up to him. Watch it, man. Then he I saw hurt. it. So he was hurt. Is that and, he, and then he, and then, then you get on the thing, oh, I'm a millionaire. If you're a millionaire, I remember I was on tour with Mike Epps, and money was short. Mike would give me a check for 5000 be like, just take care of it when, you know, when you get yours. That was I was love. just going to say that. Hold on, Marcus, what you was going to ask him? Uh, did he uh, did he have an agreement with him beforehand? Cause I, I don't know if I missed that part. Did 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 he tell Charles and White? Did, 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 did they make an agreement on a certain amount of Man, money? No, nobody matter. knows that. Guess that's what? that's go, what is. Guess what? That's what that's where your name and your rep and what you call that shit, D. 
What? The shit, your um, the pedigree? Your pedigree coming to play. Yeah. Your pedigree coming to play in situations like this. Who are you and why is there a problem with the money? And here's the thing. Or M.O. Too. We don't Your know nothing about Charles and White. He don't lie. Why would he want to throw that man under the bus? For nothing, if he didn't get paid nothing, if he felt like he was done wrong, and he would, if he quit, he quit. Now you don't have to get on there and talk about, yeah, he he didn't quit out. We is, I'm glad you quit because we was, I didn't know how to tell you we was gonna fire you. That's pretty and good. why would why would <laughs> that's a cap anyway? Mm. Because if you with Live Nation, they not gonna go to through TK to fire him. That's cap, homie. Mm. Because when they fire you in this business, you if you if me and you on to a Live Nation. You ain't gonna know I'm fired until it's time to bring me to the stage. You ain't what's front you at? I'm keeping we just kind of my way. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They not gonna call you and tell you, yeah, 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 Scruncho's pretty horrible. We're gonna fire. That's Cap, man. He like to throw people under the bus to make himself look good. Mm. He's a sucker, homie. That's some cold shit right hey, there. Hey man, look, let me tell you, young Stone comic, something sucker. else, man. Let me tell you, young comic, something else. Whenever you are going on any type of tour. You have to make sure that everything is in order where you you can't be afraid to ask, when do I get my money? You can't wait and see what happened. There's no way in this world I am going to let anybody who is with me, because if you with me, you not only represent me, I, I have to protect you. I am not gonna let you go home with no money. Right. I mm. will take a L with mine first before I let the motherfucking feature act or the headline um, or the or the or the host go home without no money because I know they need exactly. the money. Yeah. When I was a young comic, I worked all jokes aside. Ho ass nigga named Raymond Lambert was in charge of it. Yeah, I'm putting you on blast, bitch ass nigga. Raymond Lambert was in charge of all jokes aside. Mm -hmm. Do you know that nigga didn't pay me the first time I worked? And when I tell you I needed that money. Only, only real niggas know what I'm talking about. Uh -huh. I didn't even have a way to, to get, get to the See, club. Yeah. I was hopping uh -huh. the train. <laughs> Chicago yeah. niggas know what I'm talking yeah, about. Out there begging for transfers. I got to get down here and mm -hmm. get to the gig. Mm -hmm. yeah, nigga didn't pay me. The whole ass nigga didn't pay me. Because yeah, something got broke on stage and the nigga motherfucking didn't get my money. Work. What was that dude with Detroit? And it was a learning, it was a learning You should learn thing. And how did you, I was like, oh, but what shit. you do? Did you, did you smash on it? I didn't do nothing. Yeah. I was just shocked. <laughs> I was like, damn, I ain't even get my bread. Scratch I'm like 20, 24, 25 years yeah. old. But now you talking about needed that money? Nigga, I was hey, I where, where you, where you, where you, where you hurt to the point where you was packing your pockets? Nigga, like, I, I, was, I was like this. My like, mouth right. would close for a week. I was. <laughs> Wait on that. Uh, it wasn't nothing about five, six hundred dollars or, or something like that. That's a lot. That yeah, nigga didn't give me that. It probably was oh, less nigga. than that. Yeah. I didn't get a dime what working with. What did he say to you, though? And then the whole ass nigga got me in some documentary of all jokes aside. <gasps> like, I'm down with all jokes aside. Wow. Whole ass nigga, how am I in this documentary? <laughs> whole ass nigga, I ain't never told you I want to be part of no documentary. <laughs> I heard the nigga got sick. Yeah. Nigga, don't Ooh, let well, me outlive see. you, nigga. Oh. If I outlive you, Live you, nigga. Don't live me. I live you, nigga. I'm coming to my. I'm coming to your funeral, and I'm throwing a piece of paper on your dead ass like you owe me, nigga. <laughs> Fuck uh, that nigga. And then he go. He go to think. Wow. When niggas beat you like that, you know what I'm saying. You don't never forget that. Oh, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Because when you when you take because it's I, damaging. Yeah, it hurt. It hurt. It's a hurt. Because we all have been through that. You know what I mean? I have been through. You got fucked out some money, Craig. Of course. You you got a story you want to tell? I mean, shit. I I ain't gonna say the nigga name, but I went Might to well. Arizona, and, and Craig and, being nice, and, yeah, and <laughs> yeah. headline the spot, and he was five hundred dollars show. Uh oh, he just showed though. Yeah, he, talk about not getting. Yeah, he never gave it. But to that five hundred, you, you needed that, that five hundred, yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure, for sure, yeah. Right now. Marcus, <laughs> I know ain't nobody pay you because of how you look. Uh, man, <laughs> I, I, I can't recall the time there's somebody to play me out some money on. Really? No, I can't recall the time yet. Well, you blessed. Are you still, you still young in the yeah. game? Give it time. I mean, I've been it's coming time. Oh, oh, yeah. What about that nigga out there in Seattle? Oh, He's yeah, the yeah. fuck nigga. Oh, yeah. Let me tell you. I got I to gotta take, take it. He got you, didn't bad. he? He got me a few times, but here's the thing. He got me one time, right? And his name Pierre Crockwell. At, and he go to Ironic Park. Now we, he a good friend. I'm the guy, I'm, his, I'm the godfather to his. Oh, his, his, see, uh, so there's, okay. Because what happened when he got me, 
I said, P, man, if you ain't got, if you ain't got, let me know. Wooty, wooty, wooty. I got you, Scrunch, I got you. But he, it went, in, it went from his heart because he had a gambling problem. Ooh. So he had to be a good-hearted dude, and he'd fuck around gamble and fuck off the money, and then he looked like a lousy nigga. So when I tossed him, if you ain't got, let me know. So he had me fly here. Then I flew back, got kicked off the plane. That's when he said the, the tickets. You know, that's when your ticket, the car don't go through there, come get you off the plane. <laughs> so then I got kicked off the plane. Damn. I he said, flew you in on a bogus ticket. Man, when I went, I said, <laughs> I said, man. So then he had me wait three days to get my money, right? <laughs> so what I did, I said, okay, since we on that game. They say Craig about to leave homie. early again. Got, oh, they crazy. I flew back. You know what I mean? I flew back. Strapped up, nigga. I went and caught nigga at the gas station. He was with his family, right? And I told him, I said, nigga, you gonna die with your family, nigga. And I love your wife, but nigga, you finna get my money. He gave my money, and I went and met his wife and his kids, and they were so beautiful. I gave the money back. Oh, what? Man. Damn. Get your cake ass out of here, nigga. <laughs> hey, man, they were so nice, you know what I mean? Because cause here's the thing. If I know that what you're doing, if I know you, if I know you're taking something from me and it's from a bad place, I could go there. But if I know it's really not who you are and you got a problem and you got an issue, right. then I could, I, I got, I got empathy for that. You know what I'm saying? You that nigga went to gamble that money away. See? I know, but at the end of the day, nigga. <laughs> His well, wife is probably mad. <laughs> yeah, but you know, but, he, but I'm telling you, he's a good dude now because he got a daughter at UCLA. Track all America. So he got son, he I, got help for that problem. Yeah, he's a good dude now, but at one time when he was struggling, mm-hmm. man, he was he was he was doing what he do, but he, you know, motherfuckers do what they do, but I like to say he refurbished his life, though. That's he pretty deep. Most life. people wouldn't have did that. Yeah. Yeah, What'd you say, D? I said, that's pretty deep because most people would not not have done that or cared. You know what I'm saying? They would have well, You mean to give him the money back? Man. Yeah, but or I to under, have an I understanding of his situation. Because if if, I'm soft-hearted. Like, my mom is soft-hearted. She hard, but she's soft-hearted. One time she caught me and she wouldn't let us get these cookies, right? And I was like, oh, fuck, I'm giving me some cookies. So in the middle of the night, I was in the cookies. She caught me in the cookie jar. What you want in the cookie jar? I said, how many you want? And she said, I'll just take three, baby. Marcus motherfucker stood on this motherfucker and say he ain't never got ganked before. Yeah, yeah. be I patient. Man, it's I coming. Nigga almost well, thought he was gonna gank me, but it didn't Ooh. work out. It was in Little Rock. Oh, was, look, but oh, he didn't yeah. know what he was doing though. It was a nigga that he did a promote and he it, he had too much overhead. Like it, it, the what he spent, he ain't make his money back. And he thought that was gonna fall on me. And I was like, oh no, nigga, I, I'm still gotta get mine. Yeah. Yeah, nigga. It took him a little, little couple weeks and shit, but he got my shit. <laughs> and Corey, oh, okay. how we yeah. got you for that huh? for that five hundred? Man, look, we, I didn't get got more than one time. Man. I didn't get got, nigga. This is that's part of paying dues part in most industries dues. you're doing. Yeah. Right, most right. industries you gon' get fucked, but as you get older. I'm telling you these words right now, you need to put these words right above your front door. Mm-hmm. If you fuck with fuck niggas, fuck shit Go coming. Oh, happen. Oh, man, that's well, really shit. Whenever you that. fucking with a fuck nigga, you can expect the fuck shit to come. Hell yeah. And that, and that goes for... Right. That go for everything Every, in life. No, everybody. Once you identify somebody as a fuck nigga, when you fuck with them, God gonna be like, oh, you still fucking with him? And that just, <laughs> and that, and that just don't mean a male either. There's female yeah. category in that category. Over, so me, I ain't going on that stage that I get paid. But you know what, man? Sometimes, or unless it's one that's It's somebody who you, who you know they, mm. they, they pedigree has shown I don't have to worry about that fucker with this nigga. But yeah. you know what? Some, out here, or, you know, like sometimes as comedians, You'll know a nigga got a good chance of fucking you, but you gotta take that chance because your money be so low, you gotta Man. go through the fire. You can't, I ain't fucking. Well nigga, put. You gotta, you gotta take that chance. And that's what I would tell the young brother, or he ain't no young brother like that, but I'm saying he young in the game. I would tell Charleston White, uh. nigga, it's just like he said, because he said it. I'm watching what's happening, I'm seeing what's up. Uh. You analyzing how the game go. Homie, most people gonna fuck you. It yeah, ain't a lot mm-hmm. of motherfuckers gonna stand up. That's Most really motherfuckers shit. gonna fuck you, so right. expect it. That's why when you talking to niggas, you have to make sure you have the courage to say what's the minimum in the beginning. I must be paid, like if I'm working a comedy club. Yeah. Man, 
I don't know what the comedy club doing. I'm working right. through you. Exactly. Mm. You get my money at the end of the week. Right. I can't afford to go home with nothing. I ain't on that level right. like you. Right. You get what yeah, I'm saying? But talk. anybody who fucking with me, man, I stand on it, man. I'm not gonna let no motherfucker go without what I told him I'm gonna give him. Exactly. Right, that's real right. Shit. Cause it's I take the L first. I got got yeah. on the tour. I just remembered that shit, man. And they so, still dude, owe you, so you go. Uh-oh. No, man, here's the thing. So when that <laughs> I can't even say this. You when spit. that Rostang shit blew up, we were supposed to go on tour. And they gave and they gave us like twenty cities, right? And so at the time, I owned a truck, I owned my own diesel truck, and I was a contracting workout. So instead of taking this next contract, which was worth like fifteen thousand a month, I turned it down to go on tour. Mm. But I didn't know that you was supposed to. I guess when you go on tour, you're supposed to get like some of your money up front. Half of the money. Up yeah, front. I didn't know that. I'm new in the game. I don't know that. So, uh, so I turned turned the uh, turned the uh, contract that down, right. thinking I'm about to go on tour. And then like a week before we leave, they canceled the tour. Oof. And the niggas that was supposed to go on the tour with me and a couple other people. A couple of them got together and then they went on tour and left like three of us out to drive. Oh yeah, that's Ooh-wee. business. That's cool. Welcome it's, to the game. You know what I'm saying? It, nigga, it I tell all you motherfuckers, welcome to the motherfucking game, nigga. Exactly. And you, man, look, all you young niggas with your little internet following, most of y'all ain't shit on stage. Let me keep it real with I know, you. That's why I was shocked. I was saying to myself. <laughs> most of y'all ain't shit on stage. Yeah. So what you gotta do, <laughs> why are you hot? You need to start trying to plan your own shit. Because if the people love you, they'll come see you. And the laws of nature is when you take chances on yourself, God find a way for you. You better mm-hmm. find gymnasiums in these cities where people like you. Try to rent out a gymnasium. Tell a motherfucker, look, if we do good, I'll look out for you. If you ain't got no capital to book all this shit, right. you just got to get a chance for the people exactly. to see you. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So you could build your shit. When you build your shit, the big wigs come anyway because they see, oh, this motherfucker bill is on They want shit. a part of it, yeah. right? Exactly. Yeah. You have to take chances on yourself, <laughs> especially it. while your name is hot because you know your name ain't going to stay hot long because you ain't shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and I'm going to tell you something. It's a lot of. That ain't no diss. That yeah, that's, 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 that's A lot of you yeah. motherfuckers get up there and them people, when they leave that show, they be like, I got it. Raw, <laughs> <laughs> and you know a lot of men in that next I feel sorry for them because they they got to start backwards. You know what I'm saying? Because we started at a bunch of itty bitty small ass clubs just working with you no built social that media or nothing. Right. So what happened in, in 20 years? We could take all the people that seen at them small clubs and we couldn't even feel one show up at the Staples Center. You know what I mean? <laughs> but they learning in front of 5,000 people. You know what I mean? So they ain't gonna last long because they can't keep getting booed every night. That's hard on the ego. You know what I mean? Right, yeah. right. You know, because some motherfuckers make it. Like, I'm gonna tell you something. I went and seen DC Young Fly. <laughs> that little nigga is brilliant. Hey, when I seen him kill a sh- Listen, man, let me tell you something. I, I ain't saying it because he's a little homie, but his timing, his storytelling, his energy, his, uh, Man, he just got it on me. 85 I, South boys, 85 let me tell y'all South something, man. Man. Y'all real. motherfuckers in major demand, man. Y'all motherfuckers. I remember when y'all was telling me about that little sucker ass shit they was doing, paying y'all that little fuck money with the motherfucking wild and this out I remember that <laughs> shit. I ain't got no, I don't give a fuck. Shit, I know they was fucking y'all. That motherfuckers called me. Corey, Corey, we gonna give you a couple of G's, show up. I was like, he the Dead. <laughs> the fuck I'm gonna go on that shit for, exactly. nigga? I'm doing the same shit y'all doing out here without the motherfucker. Look, you gotta take chances on yourself. And while you're a young nigga, you owe it to yourself. Look, I'm gonna tell you something. This ain't me trying to help the OGs, but mm-hmm. I'm telling you, you got to use some of that money to invest into your act. You need to invest into a couple of niggas who know what they doing, not people you like, motherfuckers who know what they doing to help you develop your act. Mm-hmm. So when you own this road, you have done something in a way where people will be glad to come back and see you again. Right, right. You can't just spend the money and buy bitches <laughs> shit. You need to put <laughs> money into yeah. your act. Hey, but you know what? They coming and going fast because it's a hard business. You know what I mean? And you can have a hot flame on you one minute, but you got to come back next year. It ain't nothing more scarier than me. Then I'll be feeling sorry for some time. Imagine being behind the stage, 
five thousand people come to see you do an hour and you got 12 men as a hot material and that's it man that gotta be the scary. when you really that nigga you ain't scared it's an yeah. opportunity yeah. 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 when you really that nigga you be like i'm finna i'm finna kill that yeah. but when you ain't that nigga you be like i'm oh. finna be killed <laughs> i see niggas backstage sweating because they hyped up to be all that mm -hmm. they see, go out there I'm okay with wah, TK wah, wah. Up at. he really thought see nobody was there you know, this is where the transition between old school and young school fucked up. They wasn't there to see TK. They was there to see Charleston White. Right. You know what I mean? And see, he still think he the headliner in a in the game where you might look like the headliner on paper, but in reality, don't nobody know you. They come to see Charleston White. Mm. You know I'm gonna saying? tell you something. It's like it's a whole nother generation of nigga though. You know what I'm saying? It's like the people who fucking with Charleston White. Some of them don't even know TK, like you said, mm -hmm. but it's people who come to see TK that don't know Charleston White. But I thought it was a good mesh as far as it go with getting asses in the seats. Man, it was a good look for TK. But, right. It wasn't, because guess what? You finna get a whole right. new fan base. You right. You finna no, get no, a no. chance to shine. I will say, Charleston White was asked to come on with TK because Charleston White come with a whole nother fan base. Mm -hmm. Don't ever take that away. You would but be capping. But TK said he didn't need him. See, that's where he, see, that's what I'm talking about, the fuckery. The nigga like to kick a motherfucker when he down instead of just being humble. That's why I owe Charleston. I can't disagree with that. On. I can't disagree with that at all. I'll be being phony if I disagree with that. Charleston White was on the show because Charleston White is a man who has people interested in hearing what he has to say. Can we not bullshit with that? I mean, mm. the man, people want to see what that nigga got to right. say. Who reached out exactly. to him? TK reached out to him, nigga. Oh, man, there ain't nothing to talk about then. It, it, it ain't nothing to talk about. But the cool thing about it with TK, he don't realize what you did was a brilliant move. All you had to do is take care of the little dude and make sure he was good and take him under his wing right. and stop doing the goofy shit. You didn't have to fuck that man because you're going to make a lot of money in the right, long right, run anyway. Right, right, right. You still going to get all the bread. TK. Now you beat that nigga out of nine shows, but you lost out on 36 shows or you lost on the back end. You know what I'm saying? Well, Come I say on, like on. this, man. I don't. My reputation, I, I people could, first of all, most of the people talk shit about me. It's because of three reasons. They don't know me. Well, most most of the time when they talk shit about me, they don't know me. I'm fuck the second reason. This the this the motherfucker. <laughs> this the main reason. A lot of Hollywood motherfuckers talk shit about me and try to keep me under the bus. They don't want me to see their lifestyle, man. But everybody know your lifestyle, dog. I know y'all fucking niggas. <laughs> I know you fucking niggas. Why you mad at me? Because you don't want me to see it? Man. Nigga, everybody know what's up. This is a small community in Hollywood. Squad Joe Yo, man. and me, we've been out here the longest between, I mean, Craig and yeah. Marcus be out here with us, so they see a lot of shit. Yeah. But look, we know all y'all niggas, man. man. Hey, 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 Alex, on the Thomas oh, side man. of the game, nigga, we know why you don't like me. <laughs> You smell like Dookie. <laughs> <laughs> I think and you don't like it. I know why the Dookie fan is around. <laughs> but that's just one nigga out of all uh, of them. Yeah. I'm saying, man, there's so many niggas that got me fucked up. Yeah. Oh, you don't want to be around him. He a bad guy. <laughs> woo, woo, woo. Most of them niggas just don't want me to see and have a real concrete evidence of the Bagdoria. Your talent, they don't want to find you. Know, they don't want you to find out who their boyfriend is. Man. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> nigga, I be seeing y'all niggas, all y'all tough acting niggas. Yeah, nigga, we. Yeah, niggas. yeah all right, nigga. You know what? You know what I think? My opinion. I think TK don't respect his personality on the internet. Who Charleston is? So he had. He came in like I'm gonna fuck him anyway. Fuck he a fuck nigga. Man, that nigga fuck everybody. You yeah, don't respect fuck. nobody. That ain't got huh? nobody. He fuck everybody. Say that himself. again. Hold on, hold on. What'd you say? Um, I said TK personality type. He, he don't. It ain't too many people he respect. That that ain't got shit to do with Charleston White. That's just his his personality. He want everything that he want to be the man. 
You know and what I'm saying? And they can't fight, homie. Niggas are suckers. Scarnch, I'm telling you, I ain't trying to take nothing away from you. It ain't fair, nigga. I'm giving you your flowers now. Scarnch is not old, regular. I'm telling you, I got it to a, I got it to a fight with, with this little nigga, <laughs> little shorter than Scarnch and Balboa Park. I told everybody, I say that little nigga strong than a motherfucker, cause I couldn't get him down. And this one, I was still that nigga a little bit. I told you, he tried to he get told that nigga. He told your ass can't regular. No, he didn't whoop me because I know how to fight. Right. But I'm saying I got a ball of nigga up move that I'm proud of. I could not get that motherfucker on the ground. He was a bowling ball. And I told everybody, I said, that motherfucker strong as hell. Look, he whooped this nigga up there at the gym a couple of weeks later. I said, I told y'all. Dead motherfucker different. <laughs> some motherfuckers, you got to just give them they proper since some motherfuckers out of here whose center of gravity will not let them go down. Man. Corey, he went on his famous move, the belly slap. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the the belly slap. Fuck you, nigga. Hey, hey, man, I'm going to tell you something. Corey, I'm going to say this, homie. This, don't let Corey fool y'all. I ball with that nigga a hundred times. This nigga is strong as an ox. That, when he, I first he moved that, out here, he I was got a motherfucker. That, man, he, I wish you'd man, been out here when I first moved out here, Mark. Hey, man, this nigga was, I debo your little ass. Hey, he's a true brother. The nigga got some uppers, man. Yeah, yeah. This big old nigga was dunking. I'm like, God damn. I ain't never been no basketball hey, player. I wouldn't have been playing basketball with y'all. Yeah, hey, that nigga Corey got you game said. game. We used to win like a motherfucker, Corey. What kind of ball was you playing? Hey, that's my little daughter. Huh? He said he went basketball. <laughs> <laughs> Squancho basketball game was based off strength, if you yeah. ask me. Because yeah. he was housing little niggas. It was funny. Man. But, yo, I'm saying, man, when I do my show, Squancho, it ain't to take nothing away from the facts. I believe what you say. I don't yeah. believe you will come on here and purge yourself and lie about nothing. I didn't want the to reason get scared. I'm trying I to make it light. I started to bring the paperwork to show you where he <laughs> ratted out. Cause when I brought when I beat him up at the comedy store, I didn't just come talking. I came with the paperwork because I just got out of jail. I showed him the paperwork. Then when I knocked him out, he fell in the audience. And when he fell in the audience, every real nigga in L.A. dragged that nigga. And they got more footprints on him than, than uh, than, uh stupid, um, Jesus path, nigga. You stupid, nigga. Mm. Squad Joe, but look, that look. The sucker, homie. Squad Joe ain't no joke, man. I'm talking about like I ain't holding no nigga dick on no fake shit. I'm just saying this nigga and right I here. And I ain't. I swear to God, this man, nigga right here. I never is, been a shit starter, Corey. I don't talk shit. Check my resume. I have no enemies. Everybody love me because I don't fuck over nobody. Cause I already know what's gonna come back around. Karma, man, if that motherfucker is real. I believe when in it that. When it come back, it, it leaves with sunshine, but that motherfucker come back with thunder. You know what I mean? Man. You know, yeah. that's why I, that's why I was, I was going to tell you, like, you know, you was telling me how you, you met your son, right? Your, your, your son. Which one? Nigga, I had my. The one I never met before or, yeah. or my son I know? Because we, we live the same life. Nigga, you know oh yeah, I mean? we was talking. I was talking. Are oh, you talking about my son that I, I never met before? Yeah, I got a son. I got a son of, I never met before. I, I was of. fucking my manager at work. Yeah, that was funny. That when Kentucky you told Fried me. Chicken is real shit, <laughs> and she got pregnant. And dude, I'm sure she told her husband that's her son, but that bitch know what's up. When them 5150 niggas found that nigga, and I laid oh, eyes I on him, I said, "That's look my just boy. like you, yeah. yeah. What do you do? He a manager at Windows? I don't know what he at. That nigga, he <laughs> in the church shit, so I know he lost. <laughs> oh my god! I heard that nigga. Deep in the church, oh nigga. You, my hey, quit ignoring them internet things and come see me. Oh I mean, I ain't scared. I ain't scared to come see you. It's just I know I scare you. Oh man, uh -oh, he, seek me probably, out. That's Call you a demon, why he's nigga. In church. No, he he ain't never been around who he is. Like if you if you don't grow up with your kids, you he probably thinks something wrong with him. Ain't nothing wrong with you, nigga. You my boy. The Man. reason you do the shit you do <laughs> oh is because you was God. born with it. Now Man. come find yourself and seek me out. Man, I would come seek you, you out. Because the nigga just like you. I looked let, on the let internet. Tell you, gonna be just, watch, gonna be I gotta check and see if he's still with that girl. Cause they was in the church shit. And I was like, oh, he ain't ready for <laughs> yeah, me. So you Down, Satan. You a heathen, daddy. <laughs> yeah. That's what happened. You went and got help. Shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said he's somewhere fighting his whole contingency. Uh, you right. Yeah. <laughs> you right. He don't know that you gotta unleash it. Hey, man, they gonna. 
Come and tell you something. You gotta stand in front of that church hey. and say, I fuck home. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't do that, you're going to be holding in pain, son. you got to talk about the holes you have fucked in this world to release the shame. Man. You're probably ashamed of them holes you fucked. God put them holes here to be fucked. That's what they here for, to fuck the holes. That's why oh, so many God. of them. He's gotta, got bigger problems. I mean, the boy has never been, man. how you say, he doesn't even know who he is. But, but so. see, that's what me and you a lot of like. I just met my son, right? My Which son, one? Two years ago, my son, man, he was how 16. Old? Oh, wow. When he ran up on me, right? What did he do? Oh, oh, he oh. ran up on me, he had his shirt off. You know what I uh -oh. mean? He had his shirt off. He had a little scruncho chest? Yeah, yeah. And I, listen, I knew he was my son because he looked more <laughs> like me than me. But right. he was angry, he was hurt, he like, what's happening? You need to get to talking. I said, first of all, uh -oh. I, don't, I don't like your spirit. You need oh, to get to talking. I, I like said, it. second of all, that's your spirit. I said, I said, second of all, the one thing you and your mama got in common, I don't know neither one of y'all. That's some G shit. Hell I was yeah. saying that shit. If we don't got love for the mama. Real motherfuckers not gonna have love for the you baby. Got there right I'm not saying the baby can't come into our lives and earn his way as a part of us, but if you a bitch I just fucked and you had the baby, fuck you and the baby. Hey, oh. here goes the cold part about it, right? I got a female court that's me for child support right now, Corey. You wouldn't take care of baby. What? <laughs> you know, another nice here go the Wait a minute, let, no, let this nigga Morgan say what he said. What you say? Thing, say? You wouldn't take care of the baby if he was a one night stand? I didn't say that. Uh -huh. I said, if I don't have love for the woman, I will not have a connection with the baby until I get to know the baby. Man, and you, that's facts because what he's saying is this. I can be with you and I love you and I can have the same love for you I can have for your kids. Right. I could be with this female I don't love and have this baby and treat him like a stranger because it's not a physical, it's a spiritual connection. I get you it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like I told my son, don't be mad. If you could be mad at me, I could understand that. Yeah. But be mad at your mama because you, your mama hustle that went bad. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, you got a decision to make. You can take your little starter kit muscles, nigga, and get to swinging. When was this? Two years ago. I said, you take your starter kit muscles and get to swinging, or we can hug it out. I said, I want to love you like I love the rest of my kids. I said, but there's two reasons you got to understand. I said, number one, I said, you got an A and B decision to make, nigga. We can hug it out and figure it out, or you can take your starter kit muscles, nigga, you can get to swinging. Oh, oh. I said, but if you choose A over B, number one, I didn't chase your mama, and I'm not going to chase you. I said, if you see me chasing any of my kids, I mean this on my soul, it's for two reasons. Either they didn't hit the lotto, or I need a, or I need a kidney. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny, but that shit actually yeah. is true. But guess what, nigga? Because guess what? And you're it chasing, ain't got, it's you're not, chasing it's, a $100,000 bill. It's not a lack of love. It ain't a lack what of it love. is, is it's too much of the truth. If I they don't, don't hear the wrong if truth. I don't know you, everything is phony. <laughs> if I'm around a motherfucker I don't know, the whole time I'm looking at this nigga like I'm yeah. waiting for it because it's coming. Yeah. What you around me for? I know me. Niggas don't be around me. <laughs> I know me. I'm not the type of nigga motherfuckers be around. <laughs> Everybody will be around me eventually be like, fuck that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I'm smart enough to know that. Uh, so what the fuck you in my face looking for love for, motherfucker? If you sad. really fuck with me, you're going to show me you fuck with me. But here, here's the thing. Oh, no, here no. go where females hate What you talking about, Marcus? It's interesting. No, 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 I don't. I want Marcus to get it in because Marcus, <laughs> hey, squad Joe. <laughs> Marcus is 35 with no kids. Oh, yeah, he so, lost. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? He thinks I, was, he think I be picking on <laughs> him. I'm lost. telling you, man, something wrong with your seeds, nigga. He lost. Hey, <laughs> man, I don't know, man. My, my, my mother got my blood flowing through him, man. I just feel an obligation. You know what I'm saying? You're speaking a, to, hypothetically. To, to make, to make you ain't got no kids. Huh? You speaking hypothetically because you ain't got no kids. When you actually have a child, a lot of shit is going to come up out of you that you never even thought was inside you. It's exactly. either going to be a lot of love or a whole lot of motherfucking yeah. straight up questions. How old was you when you when you first had your 
Uh, the first I don't remember. I didn't remember. I've been getting sh- bitches pregnant ass since this nigga. dick been shooting yeah, up so in the hole. Yeah, <laughs> that was it. You ain't had no all, sense when you started. The kids ain't here because the woman didn't choose to keep the kids. I used to be a little popped off broke nigga with a chip too. <laughs> them hoes ain't keep my kids after I skated in them. <laughs> them hoes two. slaughtered the babies at the clinic. Hey man, at the end of the day, guess what? Like I told, like I told, at the end of the day, guess what? Every female, they they don't realize it. The reason God let y'all have babies and not us, because y'all will be harder than us. So y'all never flipped it. Suppose you go to a club, right, mm. on your birthday, and y'all in Vegas, you and the homegirl, or so y'all at the strip club, and the dude giving you a lap dance. Your girl's like, get him, girl, get him. You're like, I don't like him. And your girl's like, what happened in Vegas? Stay in Vegas. And you, and you knock the nigga down. You know what I mean? And then three months later, you go back to your regular life. And that nigga call you, talking about, hey, hello. And he could get pregnant, right? You're like, hello. You're like, what's happening? Who is this? This is Thunder. Oh. No, dude. Thunder. 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 All right, what you want, nigga? What you want? I'm pregnant. <laughs> what you gonna say at that point? You gonna say the same thing we said? I don't give a fuck, nigga. I don't know. He's you. having fun. Like, He's having hell? fun, nigga. Don't, don't, you, you take you and baby Thunder and get the fuck out of my face. Because <laughs> oh, you ain't gonna man. have a spiritual connection to him. Mm. Teach that you nigga how to. You feel that because you a female, you can have a baby. But if you couldn't have a baby, you reverse it. You will feel worse than we will feel. You having true. a baby by the How you gonna have a baby by me? I'm telling you, my credit score is 325. Yeah. I don't like you. Like, why would you want to bring a yeah, human into the world fun. like that? You trying to turn fun into fun. But look, bitches yeah. kill fun. things that is growing then inside they hide them. And they baby and play victim. But did you hear what I said? <laughs> bitches kill little innocent things that's growing inside them. You can't tell me a bitch ain't shit. Come I on, think, man. I think this is what you raised too. Cause I got a homeboy. We went over to these bitches' house one night. Now we knocking these bitches out. We didn't. I want you to finish your story, but guess what? You ain't knock no bitch up. Now go. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, man. <laughs> now these some goop, these some ugly bitches too. Oh, I'm talking about they sisters though. I'm talking about them gremlin bitches. And one of them thick though. I'm knocking off the thick one. He knocking off the one kind of skinny. Come to find out months later, that bitch got pregnant. The one he was. I was worried because I was like, oh shit, I hope that, uh, that bitch ain't get pregnant. So if you was, if you would have been your baby, you'd have kept it, would have you to took care of it, huh? Yeah. He hey. know the bitch wasn't gonna get pregnant because yeah. ain't no bitch ever got pregnant. No, that's yeah. crazy. My whole boy, but that's his boy. His, his, I'm talking about his, his junior. Nigga look just like the boy. And he take care of him to this day. Nigga look just like him, man. But, but he don't fuck with that bitch. You know what I'm saying? But shit, I don't know, it's just my blood. And, you know what I'm saying? I just feel like, you know. No, that ain't your blood, like that's you. her hustle. Right, if a nigga look like you, that don't mean that's your baby. How the fuck right. you gonna turn fucking into a family? Right. And then, and then take account of, and then yeah. want, see, here's if the thing. If Isaac Hayes saw you, Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> now wait. I ain't uh-oh. got to finish the story. You already know what I'm saying. <laughs> hey, man, man, you know, <laughs> if Eddie LeVert, <laughs> hey man, but look, but if you really think about it, man, I don't know what's up with you Chicago niggas, but this nigga Corey and D-Ray is not Asian. These uh, niggas look the exact same fucking, and D-Ray a light-skinned nigga. You don't know light-skinned niggas who age like that. It really yeah, affects yeah. yeah. I've got my shit. Man, I ain't got no say. I got to die my shit too. I, I die my shit. So I, I'm damn near at the point where I have to stick my whole head in. But scrunch them. Scrunch them. I think Marcus. Wait. See, Marcus. His dying days are around the corner. No, no let me no. die. Corey think, think he's slick. Corey uh, think he's slick. That little chin here, you're going to be dying the fuck out there. shit. Boy, you getting old, right nigga. No, no, nigga. When, they said, when they said you were 35, I was like, aha. Uh, <laughs> it's hey, going, hey, nigga. No, hey, you, hey, nigga, I died so much when I went to jail for my four days and seen the mirror for the first time. <laughs> nigga, I thought I died. What the hell did I I thought I was Moses, nigga. I was like, what the fuck? Corey think he's slick. He's he staying fat so he won't wrinkle up, nigga. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's funny. Don't kill him. As soon as he lose weight, the wrinkles gonna show up, nigga. Fuck out of here. Fuck Marcus, look at me. I ain't did nothing. Hey, that's that stretched out this. wrinkles. That fat, that uh, stretched out wrinkles, nigga. That's what that is. Hey, man. I I'll mean, be laying mean. on the bed naked, boy, watching TV. Them hoes be like, ooh. <laughs> 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 oh, bam, bam, big or low. Marcus, yeah. you got to sleep in a hat. <laughs> I, I think seen that head a, without that hat on, nigga. <laughs> Marcus, Marcus, Marcus' head without that hat on, like, 
It ain't no clippers that shave it all the way down. <laughs> he still got the black spots when he yeah, shaved yeah. his head down. That nigga burned that. Hair still hey, be like, oh, ah! oh, I I'm think sorry, this nigga dude. might be the best dresser nigga in comedy right now. Oh yeah. man, that nigga ain't, ain't too many niggas fucking. Your nickname, that nickname should be Abracadabra. Nigga. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nigga dress like a yeah. musician. You don't look like a, a <laughs> fat fisherman. Yeah, that nigga. What you say? I remember Farrell's ice cream shop? Farrell's ice cream Have shop. You ever heard of I don't remember that. Oh. Well, look oh. at what I'm saying. Oh. No, 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 no. What is it? The, what's it, the one was that? It's an old school ice cream shop. People used to go to called Farrell's. Yeah, and that look like one of the servers. That nigga burn his hair off. He don't cut it. He nears it. He nears it. And then, uh, and then Craig dressed uh, like he finna go play volleyball. Oh, <laughs> man. You don't get your black jack dealer I like, I, I like dress this nigga up. Craig because Craig a hard-working motherfucker. Craig be over there at his studio. Yeah, yeah. Getting yeah, work. shit done. That nigga be on the phone with them companies. Yeah, if y'all send me this shit. <laughs> they be sending this Amen. nigga all kind of shit. This nigga got 1,500 boxes. A super sugar Chris. They say it's coming back in style with the bear. The That's bear swole. It looked like Craig now. He got him to change the company logo. Yeah, the nigga got an old man character. I seen you doing. Nigga, that yeah. shit was funny. Nigga, I oh like, man, are you playing yourself? Uh, 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 you talking about Jarvis <laughs> Kincaid? Oh man, yeah, that nigga yeah, was yeah, funny. Yeah. Jarvis That's Kincaid. Right Somebody say you just got hey, back from Can a I say something? <laughs> Who be here? Yeah. Now nah, look, I bought this little puss ass. Um, a little fishing vest. I huh? bought this vest. Today I was in. Look, y'all for the laugh. I would this vest at Forever 21. Oh, <laughs> I love it. Oh, I love it. The men. I was in the store. <laughs> yeah, Today I was with somebody. I was in that store. I was like, man, this puss ass. You see that vest? Yep. That nigga just be oh, <laughs> This was the cool. cheapest, sexiest vest I ever bought. Yeah. That motherfucker like fly to me, though. You too old to be experimenting with dressing, nigga. Yeah. But I, I, you probably I, haven't figured out by now. I be switching up. I be in, I be in Forever 21, or you <laughs> might see me in Balenciaga. It That's don't matter. That I'll just true. buy weird shit. I buy what the fuck I want to buy. Yeah, uh -huh. man, I'm like, you know, nigga, I, I just, because we had a time where everything fake is real and everything real is fake. I teach youngsters fucked up. So me and the homie, we on our way over here, so we stop over there on Central and uh, Imperial to get some gas. You know, that's the middle of Watts. You know what I'm saying? So the gas is cheap, though. I mean, dirt cheap. I'm at the thing, so I see the little youngster looking at my chain and looking at the Rolex. I know what, I know that mentality. I was once him. Corey, I killed the robbery in his track. I said, homie, you ain't got to pull a 211 to get this. You could go to 7-Eleven to get this. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, my real is in me, not on me, nigga. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Say it I'll again. I'll pay $100,000 for a chain when I can get my mom a house. Yeah, yeah. Me He's that smart. He's smart with it. Right, I, mean, I heard what that. What did the nigga say? He smart. Say did he say anything? He said, for real? <laughs> well, you know what I'm saying? It's like it's different when you get out the car to get some gas over there because you know what it is. Mm. But them youngsters know what it is. You know what it is, nigga? Y'all just know what it is. Ain't no money over here, little nigga. They, they don't even ask me shit sometimes when I get out the car. They already know I ain't got shit. That's what I tell them, motherfucker. I ain't got shit. I feel like they know it, niggas who might have why, something. Why would, you, why would you rob to ride to the hood flossing and get mad when a nigga rob you? That don't make That's sense true. to me. Yeah, you asked. Why is you right. around a bunch? Of, come on. As long as he don't hurt you. Yeah, yeah, yeah he ain't got to hurt you, but you, why would, it, don't be defensive over your shit. You there to get robbed. Right. Yeah. Don't play victim. These yeah. safe ass niggas, man. Now look, even though Marcus is dressed nice and everything, Hang on. when they really look at them shoes, they not gonna yeah. rob you. That always give him away. That nigga ain't no shit right there. I ain't even looked at your shoes, yo. I'm gonna look at now. Yours, though, I'm gonna see. look now. Yeah. I see. just looked at you. Yeah, they ain't gonna rob you, uh, dog. As soon as you get out with yeah. them shoes, they gonna be like, hey, little OG, yeah. you need something. You got, you got that Ronald McDonald Sevens on, yeah. nigga. I see it. Yeah, <laughs> put it up, fat leg ass nigga. Put it yeah. up. Put it out there, Marcus. Yeah. Put it out there. This nigga got on some. Yeah, them, them, them clown <laughs> shoes. Look at them yeah. motherfuckers. <laughs> Wait, put, put them satchel pages up here. Right. Let me see, Marcus. Put them motherfucking fire uh, heartbeat. I see them. Run to the stage, ass. Hey, I see them. Home of the clown shoes, no, nigga. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> these are Bart Simpson. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Hey, these motherfuckers.
motherfuckers kind of flying on Yeah. Hey, them bar look simples. Hey, like, oh, don't I didn't see the color of 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 the color Hey, Marcus, stay cackling ready, though, nigga. Yeah, it be fresh. Bust the Browns, boy. I ain't heard that well, shit. But the only thing about when you dress up like that, it's going to be hard for a nigga to feel sympathy at your funeral. Because they always seeing you dress like you ready for the yeah, cast. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? When a nigga, that's Hell what they yeah. really you got You got to get buried in a UPS <laughs> outfit. <laughs> yeah, that's what nigga like. <laughs> when they see a UPS Did outfit. Did smell something? <laughs> Is your fish day? Oh, no, oh, nigga, you you smell UPS. <laughs> you smell bass from the river now. <laughs> Close by, nigga. I said Craig departed. Oh no, that you nigga to be straight off shit. Be like, yeah, <laughs> 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 Craig fart mud. <laughs> oh man, that's crazy, nigga. <laughs> hey man, look man, back on this motherfucking shit we talk about, man. I, I want everybody out here doing the comedy. I don't root against you, nigga. I root for you, nigga. When they, anybody who work with me, I allow them to be them. But I'm saying, when you out here working with certain headliners, you can't get mad at them if they don't allow you to sell stuff because it's their show. Okay. And that's what I need people to understand. It's their weekend. Yeah. You have to earn your way up to your weekend or make it happen for yourself if you want to sell shit. But all headliners don't let everybody stretch out and do what they want to do on their weekend. Is that is that headliner's weekend? Right. Man, I did a I show. Want... I did a show in Fresno, right? And a little youngster just started doing comedy. and man, cut out open. So I said, no, I know how it is. I let the nigga open, right? When I got off stage, I swear to God, nigga did three minutes. I went outside. That nigga had more merchandise than me. Oh yeah. <laughs> it be Man, like that. All, I'm like, come on, what you doing? This nigga got t shirts and nigga license plates. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I did that before. Yeah, I was like, what one day man? one day earthquake gave me a, a, a guest spot when he was headlining somewhere. <laughs> and I just happened to have came from another city. I had my leftover merch. <laughs> nigga, I did that guest spot, boy. I set up outside, nigga. <laughs> Dog, I got rid of all the last of that merch. <laughs> I saw that nigga earthquake turn the corner like this. <laughs> he, he hadn't said nothing. I ain't talking hey, shit about the nigga. Hey, did you ever quit? That's why that nigga was in your green room. No, you, yeah. Yeah. Did y'all ever squash that beef? <laughs> he said it he owed no Yeah, y'all uh, should because y'all niggas can make a lot of money together, man. It ain't no beef. That's what okay. I'm saying. It ain't no beef, man. Motherfucking earthquake. All right, y'all. Everybody leaving, goddammit. The investors in they this must own, They must own it. You know what? <laughs> Vince Once McMahon. Again, we had the Coin Academy, home of the Baller Podcast. Yeah. You dig what I'm saying? The Ballers yeah. came down the they stairs. got elites coming up and down them stairs. Yeah. Please, yeah. Please. Oh, I thought they was federal agents, nigga. <laughs> But that was Vince go McMahon. Back. They got the yeah, go up there. Like <laughs> go back to been up and down them stairs four times. Yeah, I, yeah, I yeah. thought he was a federal he agent until I seen that jacket. And oh. I said, nah, yeah. yeah. No, I'll leave those shirts. I got the shirts in the trucks. So. Yeah, man, but but see, that's why I want to speak from the perspective of a nigga that, that coming up, man. Like, what a lot of niggas know, don't know, coming up as a comedian, like, when you start getting the chance to go Do on the road. you travel with your piano? Go ahead, my man. That's <laughs> hilarious. They got an accordion, huh? Oh. A FUBU accordion, hey, nigga. Oh. Shut up, nigga. You keep a turkey in your bag. Hey, so, uh, nigga, go ahead, Marcus. Ask show. your question. Uh, so, so, uh, so niggas tap coming. dancing, dressed <laughs> ass, the fuck out of here. <laughs> so, nigga. Hey, man, you got to so, like this nigga Marcus, though, man. This is funny, too. So, niggas. <laughs> That nigga Coming show, up. Hey, I seen the nigga show at the improv. I, I, I didn't know that nigga got the nigga funny as fuck. I now. ain't seen yeah. Marcus in a man, while. Nigga I ain't nigga, from the first time I seen him to now, man, little nigga off the chain, nigga. We oh, talk about that's oh, that's dope, you, what, What's your question, yeah. Marcus? We ain't going to interrupt you. Go ahead. So, I love up. telling young niggas they ain't funny. <laughs> <laughs> No, man. We gotta be serious, man. Let this nigga, let this nigga uh, ask his question. No, so so coming what the up. What the fuck you doing the other day? No, I'm just fucking with you, man. We fucking with you. Go ahead, Mark. <laughs> coming up in the game, man. What niggas don't understand? You gotta invest in yourself. You gonna have to put money up, even as an opener, because most openers gonna come up. They gonna give you the standard. Is fifty dollars to host or a hundred dollars to feature per show? So. Coming in that ga- in the you game, how that, much? Fifty dollars. They give you fifty. The standard is fifty. Now, if somebody, where is this standard made? That's everywhere. It's, unless somebody, 
Unless somebody, so. unless somebody that's the headliner decide to give you more. Right. The or club gonna give you $50. The club, yeah, because the club can get a motherfucker <laughs> anywhere. They don't give a fuck. Yeah. So, and, 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 and they gonna give you $50 for I don't, don't let the club feature. pick my comedians because I don't like strangers watching me or being around me. It's mm -hmm. an uncomfortable feeling yeah, for straight me. straight up. Right. When strangers talk to me, I'll be like, the fuck you want? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then strangers always find their way up around places they ain't supposed to be, yeah. doors they ain't supposed to come through, and act like they one of the guys. Right. <laughs> when I was in Tampa this week, motherfucker seemed like he was a solid nigga. Next thing I know, the show over, that nigga come upstairs. Hey, what's up? Hey, walking you know, in the door. You I'm kicked like, him back down the steps. Nigga? Yeah. The fuck is you doing, nigga? You that's know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's cold, so that's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. And, so and, and, and we and it depending on the headliner, like I say, you might you might have to pay for your flight and your hotel. And so you already come in in a negative. So your merch is you trying to break even or, or get ahead. So niggas don't know, niggas don't understand that niggas don't, uh, niggas don't understand you gotta invest in, in the beginning. And when you start, in the beginning, when you start headlining, when you ain't got no name like that, you still gotta invest. I know you gotta sell your merch. Them neck bone necklaces you be yeah. selling, boy. <laughs> hey, boy, them motherfuckers. Man, if you, sold, if you sold fishing poles, Corey, boy, you a mega killer, yeah. boy. <laughs> <laughs> Bass daddy, fishing poles, hey, look at that. Can, can I say something about that? Please. From the same perspective. Man, le for me, less is more as a comedian coming up. Like, I've been a star my whole life. I was a star athlete growing up. Ever since I was a baby, I always been the elite in everything I did. So when I got into comedy, I wasn't hungry to be a star. I'm more about like the craft and I like building slowly because I feel like if you build slowly, you can really pay attention to each of the steps. And by the time you get to, get to where you're going, can't nobody take it from you. So my advice is don't rush. You know what I'm saying? Just and that's opinion of. Stick, yeah, stick, find your pace, find your voice and just be genuine and everything that you do and try to be honest with audiences. My shit has been a slow burn. I've been in comedy since 09. I, you know what I'm saying? I just really started going out like a couple years ago. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But for me, you know what I'm saying? T to me, that's the best way to build because you want to have a solid foundation because when you step into this game with some of these monsters <laughs> like my man right here or Corey Holcomb, these are very seasoned comedians and you can get yourself embarrassed trying to jump into some shit before you are ready. You know what I'm saying? So just kind of find your pace and stick to that. That's, and yeah. it's going to come to you. I That's think, a good perspective. Go ahead, D. I think it's difficult, though, nowadays for for anyone to to go at that kind of pace, considering like social media, all that. That's true. I think it's, it's I think those days are kind of gone. You know but what I mean? also like, depending on how I old you are when you started. Right. That's, it's like, Craig, I, I got a very important question to ask you. Yeah. Like you said, you was a star when you was young and you, you used to hoop and shit. Right. And you was a lot thinner. Now that, you got to, now that you got to pay for these hoes, is this transition hard? <laughs> yeah, that's hilarious. You got that weight on you now, Craig. Hell Even though yeah. Craig still got it. When I went to Craig studio, I saw him go up the stairs. That nigga ran. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that yeah, nigga yeah. still got some doubt. Yeah, nigga yeah. power in his belly. Yo, obvious, I got to pay for hoes look now. Is it yeah. fucking with you? Oh, man, I'm always going to be straight, man. <laughs> Hell, yeah. I'm fucking with you, my baby. Hell, yeah. yeah. Uh, Wait a minute, what did somebody say? Craig, Craig, I can ball you one on one and will spot you 10. Damn, oh, dragons of eating. It'd be funny when these niggas talk shit, then they see me. When they get up on you. Yeah, I don't yeah. know why y'all oh, think it's so goofy, Zayas, man. Zayas B. Lou says Craig was great in Austin. All right now. Yeah, Austin? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what is that? The high school you went to? No, that's I just I headlined in Austin, Texas this All weekend. Right. I did oh, two this weekend. Show, yeah, right two shows in Austin. Go. And I one fucking show love in going to Austin, Texas. It's the best place to do comedy right now. As far as just getting up and just, you know, the audiences are they they want real jokes and shit. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. I put it like this: it I was with you last time I did Austin. Yeah, motherfucker, yeah. I had a ball had a in Austin. Ball. That club was new. Oh my god! Them people came out, the didn't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, man we had them people fun. came out, oh, dog. Man. Texas has a middle class. That's what people got to know. See, most places is people who ain't got shit and people who got some. Texas has a middle class. So when you go to Texas, you see some of the best crowds because there's actually enough working class folks for you to fill up the place. And mm. this, look, we in Houston this week, God damn it, motherfucker, they ain't already added the goddamn it shows and shit because it's, it's enough people in Houston, Texas who can afford tickets. 
That's real shit. That's it don't great. even matter yeah. what else is going on in Houston. Did y'all do the Austin Improv? No. Yeah. Austin no. ain't got no Improv. Uh, they got Cap City. Is that what it's Cap called? City. It's Cap a bunch of Cap City. Do they? Yeah. No, no, no. Houston got Arlington got an improv. Oh, Arlington. Arlington. Yes, I do. Arlington. It's like yeah. folk Cap City Arlington, Club. we got yeah. the next, dog. Yeah. I'm telling you, I love that Texas run. Man, Texas yeah. they has come out a deep. middle class. Yeah, they That's what deep. you will find out. That's why a lot of people leave California and move to Texas. Man, California, bogus as fuck, dog. They had a tropical storm out here. What really was a rainstorm. But because California ain't used to all that rain, uh, people who live up in the mountains, they pay for it real bad. I don't even know why you buy a house. Or at the bottom of the mountains, really. Right. But also, in California, you'll be paying $2,500 for a one-bedroom, mm -hmm. and when it rain, it leak. That's real shit. These, they, they, <laughs> the building codes out here ain't shit. Oh, shit. I'm telling you, these motherfucking, these motherfucking, that's why people move into Texas and shit, man, because for $2,500 a funny. month in Texas, you're doing all right. Hey, t you Corey, can get a house. That's real mm -hmm. shit. Hey, Corey, you know what you got to add to the hustle on the road? What? Man, when I did the show in uh, San Antonio, you know, people buy the music, too. Yeah. yeah. So, nigga bought a ready, feature. They ready for them. You should be selling Albums. features yeah, out you there. You should do man. an album, man. Your hey, 3000 I got the album coming, man. Yeah, it's just sing, uh, them people on that motherfucker with that nigga got shit. So I'm yeah. motherfucking out here fucked up. You That's what I'm saying? Yeah, I ain't got no money. I'm busted. That nigga, the 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 the, the, the big um, homosexual nigga who said I make 500 on the chilling circuit. <laughs> uh, look, I ain't got no 500,000. I ain't got no money, nigga. I'm fucked up. Man, you gotta up. go overseas. They paying the bank. Is really? Man, I went overseas. Man, I ain't gonna lie. I made more money and. Man, I did five sh shows, and you wouldn't believe how much money they gave you. They, they, the they, they love, they love, and my and my social media is trash. They don't, they don't care about that. If they know that you funny, man, you gonna get some money for the That's troops. You. Yeah, man, yeah. not the just troops. for the troops, man. It's in, in Dubai, man. They give you, man. They give you like. Man, I'm not gonna lie. That's the country where they take bitches to jail for yelling in public. <laughs> yeah, that's a great place to that's be. That's a great place to live. Yeah, hey, you know, you the you you the first comedian I seen live. Yeah. Oh, wow. At the Ontario Improv, you and Mike Epps, like in 2000, maybe six. Yeah. Or five. Yeah, I talked to you after the show too. Yeah. Man, I was like, you you the man. I, I man, I've been meaning to tell you that, but you you and Mike Epps is the first I seen. Yeah, yeah, that's used to dope. Go on stage with them dark shades on. He looked Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you remember that? Time? <laughs> he thought Craig was a Mexican yeah, when I had yeah. him. I, I had let Craig him. go Freeze. up. They was like, Corey got the essays. Freeze too. <laughs> fuck up out of here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's real. That nose should have told you me what it You were free. Yeah. Hey, you know, you know, you know why a lot of people always be like, you know, niggas always not got love for Corey. So they be like, you know, Corey here because you don't understand. When I was doing comedy, all the shit I went to, cause I got two beautiful daughters. You know what I'm saying? And everything I would tell them, they'd be not defiant, but they'd challenge me. They start listening to this nigga. And then come back and start apologizing to me uh -oh. right. because and 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 and, and, and she there right now she you and know and I'm and she don't she like to mention you with me but you one of her favorite comedians and I so sometimes you got you need a real nigga to say what's real because when you say it too raw I sound like I'm hating on them right you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying mm -hmm. because I tell my daughters all the time I know I don't know who y'all is was dick in the picture you right. know what I'm saying. So from a, that perspective, they got to hear from somebody else right? to solidify what I'm saying. That's, That's why I be true, having yeah. so much love for this nigga, mm. you know what I'm saying? Because the nigga helped me in a way he don't even know it. Because yeah. that real shit niggas need to hear. He need his own book in the Bible. He need a oh, shit. book with Book of Corinthians. Book of Corinthians. Yeah. 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 Real shit. I had a special yeah. name that. Look, we going to motherfucking let D get up bullshit out the way so uh -huh. she don't get sleepy and shit. <laughs> I know. I'm surprised. I've been gone. Oh shit! It's no, just, I'm not. You no, 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 are. D, don't be ashamed. I don't take nothing of your meds. but supplements. I don't take meds. Okay, D. This one right here. Supplements is another name for meds. Okay. Of course, you doing music, mm. music too? What hey, you my man, doing? look at the Chicago mm. Theater. That's September 9th. Mercy. My man right there, Slick J Adams. He's a he's a he's a real like. Let me tell you something. That crazy nigga. Uh -oh. I used to have up under me. Yeah. Precise, yeah. that nigga was talented, dog. Yeah. Let not take nothing away. You see, I get niggas they credit when they be talented. Mm -hmm. right, right, right. It's just, it didn't work because sometimes Precise used to spaz out. Oh, man. 
and that ain't no diss to precise. But look, I found a nigga just as talented. What, or even uh, That nigga from Chicago. Sweet. That nigga could sing. And at the Chicago show, we doing the new version of Queso Me. Oh, uh, <laughs> we, we doing the new version. Precise with a case on you? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's my song. I wrote it. <laughs> I love it. I'm really can't know put you. a case on that motherfucker. You gonna put a remix? You gonna name it a remix? No, it ain't no remix. It's, it's, it's case on me, dog. Slick J. Adams about to tear that bitch up. I'm gonna let R Brother Rizza Islam, I'm gonna let him open the show and say a few kind words to bless the show. September nice. 9th at the Chicago that's Theater. Dope. Wow. Cause dope. Rizza Islam needs to be heard. There's a lot of people who ain't up on him, and there's some people that's up on him. The man got the knowledge, man. Oh, yeah, I seen the way they blocked his Instagram and shut everything mm. down because he was dropping too many bars. That's what I'm that's saying. They don't want to hear that raw truth, though. No, the, the, the president got after that motherfucker because he was dropping them bars. They, 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 bars, they came man. up with a group of people that you shouldn't listen to, but look, my people going to understand. My people know what's up. So I got, He be dropping some real knowledge, too. He be dropping some. Mm -hmm. man, deep, he got buddy. my nigga. Who the fuck? That's his real name? Who's? CP. Yeah. Yep. Nigga, I ain't never heard his real name. Yeah. Uh, Chris Powell. <laughs> <laughs> CP, my nigga, he gonna do the show. Marvin, I like that. We, 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 we a dog. Right, we got we got the sister Fab Monroe on the show. We had to add a sister on, oh, cause like, I don't want motherfuckers to be like, oh, Corey don't fuck with the women, all that shit. We got Marvin Phillips on the show. I look for everybody in Houston. Phipps. I mean, damn, Marvin <laughs> Phipps. Why I say Marvin Phillips? Yeah. Marvin Phipps, he came on here one time. Mm -hmm. All the people in Houston and Arlington, I can't wait for y'all to see Marvin Phipps. Marvin Phipps got some jokes for y'all motherfucking ass. And I'm going to motherfucking go up there. Y'all saw me last year. Come see me this year, nigga. I'm ready for you, nigga. Ready? Shit, yeah. Because Chicago, them niggas be waiting on you. To see, yeah, we saw you last year. Now what, nigga? <laughs> I know what y'all on. I'm going to be ready, nigga. Out of all the states you travel to, when you start doing this comedy, I don't mm. fucking nobody say. The three states you better be able to bring it in, Chicago, New York, Chicago city. and Atlanta, nigga. And where else? <laughs> Atlanta. You know the one city you forgetting? Oh. Detroit, man. They oh, yeah, the boo D. You in Detroit. D, the D is if you ain't ready for Detroit, they going to boo you. Oh, yeah, D, I didn't see it. Coldest niggas get booed out there. In Ooh. Detroit, they will boo your ass, Quick. especially at the Detroit. Fox Theater. Now, if you funny, they gonna show you love. <laughs> if you funny, Detroit gonna be like, all right, nigga, good job. <laughs> if you ain't <laughs> shit, they gonna be like, get your pussy. Phil said St. Louis. Uh, Louis crazy St. Louis, too. yeah, St. Louis will boo you too. Yep. St. Louis will boo the fuck out your ass. Hey, that's why I love, you know, Jesse Taylor, my nigga out there, that's man. My nigga, that, nigga, hey, that nigga raw. Eyeball juice, that's what I call it. <laughs> Jesse Taylor, man. <laughs> that's Every time day. I go to the St. Louis, nigga, you know, you, no, he that's how I used to eat check back in. in the day, man. I used to call Jesse. Je Come on, Corey. He let me go up, do the show, make a couple of hundred dollars. I used to be popped off, yeah, nigga. Yeah, man, that nigga Jesse. You got when you go to, you can't go to St. Louis without talking to Jesse. Yeah. He got all, he got all the hood rooms, nigga. If you ain't, if you ain't wrong, stay the fuck out of St. Louis. And Jesse, Jesse be in there in that weight room too. So what he pay you, that's what he say he gonna pay you. You ain't gonna do shit. Mm. <laughs> and he love, yeah. you think, like, Jesse is a knockout artist. He, he one nigga. <laughs> he do, man. Every time I go to St. Louis, I think he gotta let me see him knock somebody out. <laughs> he be oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Just in case you wanna take yeah, it. Yeah, he, 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 he got love for who he got love yeah, for. Yeah, yeah. He, he know, certain nigga, he love real niggas. That's what he like, but, 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 but he just, he just a quick tempered nigga, man. He got zero. And that nigga, you know, man, that's a real one. I'm in St. Louis uh, Sunday. Better check this Sunday. Yeah, the do you know Jesse? Mm -mm. I'm a, well, Jesse ain't going to. Um, he gonna he gonna um, promote his shit, not nobody else uh, yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. As far as it go with like, if you was working one of Jesse rooms, you know uh -huh. what I'm saying. But I'll call Jesse and see what's happening. But we, you gotta tell Jesse his nigga how he dressed, cause uh, Jesse, oh, oh, oh. yeah, Jesse, you like they like, oh, nigga, who the fuck is this? this? Nigga trying to set me up, nigga trying to use the police. Oh. <laughs> 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 he raw hood hood. Wrong with this nigga, man. It's Corey, I'm trying to set this nigga. I'm bringing this nigga. Hey man, y'all better get y'all motherfucking tickets for that Chicago theater, man. Don't be playing with me, man. Y'all know what's up, man. I must do well at the Chicago Theater. Are that's you? another, hey, look, that's a Live Nation date. Live Nation, thank you for the opportunity and everything y'all do to try to help me, you know what I'm saying? So I'm saying I give homage to motherfuckers 
who let me do anything because yeah. I wasn't the type of comic that everybody used to let open up because I was funny. That's why I give homage to the people who took chances on me. That's right. Ricky Smiley. Yeah. Ricky Smiley let me motherfucking, man, Ricky Smiley took me to Alabama, let me go up in his room back in the day. What, I, man, Ricky Smiley, thank you. Motherfucking all you motherfuckers that took a chance on me. Jay Leno, mm -hmm. thank you. As soon as Jay Leno saw me, we clicked. What? It's just the mother people, they was like, who is that yeah, motherfucker? His folks, that's how it goes. Yeah. He ain't fucked nobody in the ass. What's he doing here? Oh, oh. <laughs> hey, you know what I learned in this business, though? It's crazy how the Jewish community love real niggas. You know what I mean? They really, keep it real. Keep they it real. really love us. You know what I'm saying? But it's the know, safe bro. ass niggas <laughs> that be the Porsche niggas from getting to us field niggas and the Porsche niggas be blocking because they don't because they pretended to be what they really are not. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And they can see that. I know what you're saying with yeah. that. So That's so you know it'd it be the old safe ass nigga. They make sure they water you down before they let you on the porch. Oh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> then they bring you back there. Juice gonna you put some money in your pocket. You know what I'm saying? They put a lot of money in my pocket. But if one of them safe ass niggas get to that ear, you man. know what I'm saying? Them safe niggas you talk about are the gatekeepers for the real black brothers. Nigga, man. They make sure you got shit on your name. Yeah, they shit on and, your name. And, See, and, when you a gatekeeper, right. them niggas are spending. You don't want to be around that guy. They'll spend a lot of money. They won't spend no money to help you, but they'll spend all their money to shut your ass down. No. You got to be careful with them niggas, boy. Oh, you finna make me drop names. I can give a fuck. Nope. Nope. I don't give a Let's fuck. Try. They ain't gonna whoop nope. me when they see me. They we, beat you what up. we finna do? All right, then shut the fuck up. We ain't gonna do that. I'm gonna tear this right. motherfucker up. Even though some of them safe niggas is big niggas, but still, goddammit. Yeah, after, after, after you get hit twice, goddammit, that shit actually gets you fired up. I'm telling all you scary niggas who ain't never been in a fight. After you get hit twice, that's when you really be like, I can take it. Yeah. You know, or if you can't take it, you're going to be out anyway, so it don't matter. It depend on that hit. <laughs> the safe right. ass niggas you know, hit oh, 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 that's right. Oh, hold on. What's that? They going to make safe a niggas, call. They, they the safe niggas be in shape, though, dog. They be doing tabo and all that <laughs> shit. <laughs> Them safe <laughs> niggas will squeeze you in a fight. <laughs> you talk crazy I, I, I had no business talking crazy scratch All right. Oh. You, you was right there with me. Who that? <laughs> with G. Who is Lil G? Lil G. Oh, Lil G. Who's Lil yeah. G? Lil yeah, G, him and Lil G got into yeah, it. Yeah, Lil Never, G. But Scrancho and Lil G know each other. Yeah, I've been knowing them so long. It went that, bad. That's, that's the little homie. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Me and Lil G got in a boxery oh, one time, homie. right? Because he, he, you know, Lil G got hands. So I said. No, but look, Lil G got the heart of a lion. But I knew I knew the nigga like drinking. But he got the body of an uh, alcoholic. Nah, he ain't no alcoholic. <laughs> the nigga just love drinking. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 you know, you know what I'm saying? But me and another nigga in boxing, so he hit me with a swift one, but I know the nigga drank. I hit him right, right there where that. In the oh, liver. Right, tap that liver. Oh. And the nigga went into fetal position. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> oh, my God. Hell yeah. You no, had look, to hit him that hard. One day I was finna right? get in the fight in front of the improv, man. Look, I know all these niggas who, who's supposed to be whatever the fuck they supposed to be, yeah. but who was right there with me? I'm not talking about standing off at a distance. That nigga was right there. What's up, Corey? Who with these nigga? Mm -hmm. You know the nigga. I'm saying, look, G, you oh, know Lil how G, he yeah, is. Yeah, Lil G, with you. If he fuck See, with the good you, thing about Lil G, he, he gonna fuck with you. That's why about I love G, that nigga with his crazy with you. ass. You know what I'm saying? I mean, Lil and G, he, he talks shit to me because that's the little homie. He always gonna get a pass to talk shit because yeah. I... I know it's out of love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, when you know something coming from a different place, you don't take it personal. Yeah. Right, right. If it's coming from a ugh, you know what I mean? It's like how your mom and daddy used to hear the word nigga. You can say it's a certain nigga and it don't offend you because if you put a beat to it, it made it cool. Right. You know what I'm saying? But if, you, if that motherfucker come from a different place, Man. nigga, it'll offend you. You ain't got to call me and nigga, you said in the wrong spirit, Man. nigga. I be like, hey, homie, I don't like this. <laughs> I, I met the Jeep before I moved to LA. I, 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 that's that's what right when I was about to move to LA in uh, Texas. Had they got some material too, man. A little nigga funny. Yeah, funny. What's her name? Uh, Hall. Uh, she's she's a uh, precious. No, 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 no. Precious, uh, funny as motherfucker. She looks like Cat Williams. It's, it's, it's a, oh, you talking about <laughs> <laughs> who? She a woman. You talking, about, you talking about? Uh, uh, you know who I'm talking about? Her last name Hall. Oh yeah, Cat is another one of my favorite comedians, man. He raw funny. I had mm -hmm. to give a shout out to Cat because yeah, yeah. we started from the dirt, Cat. And, you know, he just paid for Melba Moore uh, mm -hmm. plaque for 75000 right? Who? Cat Williams. He did. For, her, for, her, for her, her to get her walk of fame. Her, her right? walk of fame walk plaque, of fame. right? 
Okay. But what they don't know about Cat is he always been like that. Yeah. Yeah, I think when I was in prison, you know who made sure I was good all the time? Cat Williams. Man, and one day we was at Wildin' Out, dog. Cat Williams threw probably about twenty thousand dollars in the air, dog. I grabbed about six hundred off the ground <laughs> like a bitch. <laughs> and I needed that shit. I was fucked up that day. I ain't got no shame, nigga. I was fucked up that day. I saw that shit. I said, them hundreds. <laughs> nigga, I walked out that motherfucker. I was like, boy, you this how wild cookie. and out should yeah, paint. You said you didn't oh, have the best on all these pockets. Damn. I said, how is cookie hole? Yeah. Mm. Cookie a dirt bag though. I ain't gonna lie. To you. Hey, yeah, she was, she was Cookie cat. did some scandalous shit out here in this game, dog. Yeah. Hey, man. I ain't gonna lie. That's why I was in fighting in front of the improv. Some nigga who she was with, cause she was mad. She stole, she stole this girl phone. What? In the green room in Ontario. <laughs> Boy, this shit so funny. Scratcho, I said. You can Man, track. I said, I said, you know you can track an iPhone. Let me show you how to do it. Cookie stood up and started walking out the door. I said, that, I said that's where your phone at right there. And I know she don't like me because of that. But it's witnesses that will. And look, right after she left, I said, your phone at the gas station. We went to the gas station. Phone was in the garbage can. I was like, she took your phone and threw it away. And she knew you could track it. I put my, I put everything on it. That's what happened. Man. Then one day she got some nigga who supposed to be some uh, nigga in a bike gang yeah. or something out of here. And I was laughing because this nigga was walking up on me like he finna whoop me. I was like, <laughs> what you think? I, am I a chill lady out here? Motherfuckers <laughs> think I'm a comedian. I'm finna get whooped. This right. shit finna be. So funny, cause the nigga gave me that speech. I be out here protecting niggas and shit. I was like, uh huh. <laughs> you know that awkward silence. Yeah. I'm waiting on it. I'm like, nigga, I, cause I sized the nigga up. I was like, nigga, you yeah. can't fuck yeah. me, nigga. <laughs> Unless you got some super cut food shit, I don't know about. I hope you knock me out fast, cause I don't want to see it. But I know when a nigga can whoop me. Right. Yeah. Man, some niggas got some tricks for your ass. Oh, and it wasn't a while. But I was story. looking at that this nigga, great. I was like, nigga, you ain't that nigga to me. Uh, <laughs> when was this? When did he do that? Man, you so remember my homie, up. Rest in Peace, Big Gerald? Oh, man, oh, Rest in Peace. Rest in Peace, rest in peace yeah. Big yeah. Gerald. Big Gerald was like, Corey, come on, man. That nigga look like he with some niggas. I was like, you <laughs> are the biggest niggas <laughs> out here. What if I get my ass whooped out here by, by a whole bunch of niggas, dog? I ain't gonna never forgive you, nigga. <laughs> but the nigga was just, I'm walking up, and I know Cookie sent that nigga. Oh, man. That's. Mm -hmm. nigga, you probably nigga, trying to see what type of game you were part I, of. Look, nigga, <laughs> I might be, I, might, I can't whoop 50 niggas. I can't do that. But I'm saying some one on one shit. Now, there's some one on one niggas that I don't wanna fight. But I'm gonna tell you, I don't wanna fight you, man. I don't, I don't want it. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you, because if I feel like I'm gonna lose like right, that. Right, right, right. But, Nigga, y'all niggas with the rep without the motherfucking goddamn it, goddamn it. Y'all motherfucker better leave me alone, nigga. Mm. You not gonna whoop me like you think you gonna do it. Man. I don't give a fuck how many fights you had, goddamn it. I'm tell you, I got confidence in my ball and nigga up move. <laughs> hey man, I see, hey man, when I seen the way you, hey man, when you see it's a certain spirit niggas have when they great fight, that right, let you right. know the nigga different. And when I seen the way, I ain't say you flipped on David, I don't know what the situation uh, was, but when I walked, when I seen it, yeah, man, I, I saved David that ugly, night. Right. So I was like, man, don't go outside. Nigga, dog. You know what I mean? I said, don't, don't go outside, Dave. Just let it go. You know what I mean? And he I'm had found a way to get deep down. into Hollywood because he got the backdoria shit going on. You know what I'm saying? I can't compete with Dick in the Booty. <laughs> I knew he was gonna get opportunities because his Dick in the Booty, he was with it and shit. You know what I'm saying? You I done seen I done seen cool about the fight, man. That, when that nigga let out that roar, that bird roar. I don't want to fight Marcus, goddamn it, because when he take his hat off, his head look like a marble. Because that hair won't come off. That, that last part of your hair will not be shaved. They said, some, they said a compass fell out of Corey's fist. What? <laughs> Shut up, D, and get some thicker glasses. Look, <laughs> but we gonna go and let D get in there and shit, cause we'll be talking all night. I'm, I see. We got yeah. scruncho on this motherfucker. This is how we do. We kick it in front of the yeah, club all night when the comedy shows be on. We be out there. Yeah, what time we morning. leave last night, Craig? Shit, two. Damn. <laughs> two. Yeah, what's happening? Ball out there. What's out there later? Yeah, I'm Long Beach. I'm fr fresh out of Long Beach. I knew it from all that whoop whoop. Because I yeah, thought, you know, and then the whoop yeah, whoop 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 wh
Man, that was the worst shit that ever happened to a real nigga because mm-hmm. you see, like with Terrence Crawford, right? And I'm going to connect this. Mm-hmm. But like with Terrence Crawford, he been the best. You know why? But when you put that dark skin, see this dark skin. I remember my daddy told me a long time ago. I remember my dad was a light-skinned nigga. And he told me, you know what I'm saying? He said, man, stop smiling. He said, come here. He said, nigga, what the fuck you smiling for all the goddamn time? He said, nigga, stop smiling. Stop showing your motherfucking teeth. He said, for two reasons. He said, number one, people ain't going to trust you. And he said, number two, people ain't going to respect you. And at hmm. first, my feelings were hurt because I was 11 years old. I was a happy nigga. But then, man, it wasn't even two or three weeks later, I went to one of my homie house, and I was smile having. You know what his mama said? You better watch him. He about to something. He gonna oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> they take, Get that little black you dark skin and they take that smile as a form of weakness. Mm. But see, when you dark skin and you got a talent or a gift, you get a pass. But if you put that mentality with, it, with that ooh. dark skin, your brand is considered toxic. Mm. Right. It overrides your talent. So that mentality, because uh, they'll hate on me like, oh, that's a scratch Because 98% of these comedians can't fuck with me on stage on accident. They can't. They just can't. But if I tell the raw truth, I sound like a hater. You know mm. what I mean? Mm-hmm. But niggas will follow the accolades, the titles, and the name and really believe the niggas the truth. But I bet none of the niggas can't fuck with me. TK damn sure can't fuck with me. That nigga, that, he couldn't even fuck with Charleston White. Charleston White killed his ass. You know what I mean? And Marcus, you got to stop fucking in hats. Uh-huh. Just let it be known. <laughs> let it be known, dog. Ain't nothing to be ashamed of, man. <laughs> <laughs> can't yeah. think of that. No, I, I, I'm like, sexy, nigga. No, you look I'm like, sexy. Look at me. You, you look like at my regular look. Watch yeah. this. What, man. Uh-oh, what look at Weezy it? Jefferson, y'all. Yeah. Over there. <laughs> damn, damn, damn. <laughs> <laughs> Ayo, damn, damn. Wait, he didn't get his other look. <laughs> I don't know why I don't know what happens to all the sitcoms. Why don't I have no more sitcoms? Man, I don't know. Niggas dressed like Morgan. Uh oh. It's a fire one out right now called The Righteous Gemstones. Y'all got to watch that. Okay. Cool. It's about a mega church, but it's a dark comedy. So oh, it, it ain't church. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing in church but yeah. dark yeah. comedy. Platform is on. on? Yeah. I, I watch it on Hulu. I think it's HBO. What is it called? The Righteous, the Righteous Gemstones. Righteous. Why don't all you Atlanta preachers come out the bag? Why ain't none of y'all claiming to be gay and y'all fuck with niggas? I just don't understand it. Stop <laughs> being shy. Show what you do, <laughs> goddammit. If old boy Eddie Long used to give you money, it was for a reason. <laughs> we need to do a documentary on the Dick and the Booty Churches. Eddie Long, man, when that nigga had that disease, man, nigga did not want to come out and keep it 100. That nigga was 42 pounds. So what did he say? Went. What was wrong? He said he had a. Uh, he ate some bad chicken. Yeah, he yeah, said he had a, a chicken plant transplant or some shit. A chicken <laughs> transplant. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga stupid. A <laughs> chicken transplant. Yeah, a yeah, nigga in yeah. the transplant. I knew it because niggas should come on stage with a with a stretch shirt on. Right. This nigga. Hands put up high. Right. And he speaks like this. Right. <laughs> yeah, he was a wild nigga. And the boys anyway. came out the closet. On Darlene's loose talk about, about bullshit. Bull Go on with it, D. All right, thank you so much. All we gotta right, let her get it off. If you interrupt her, she gonna get mad. No, Everybody not. shut up and let her finish. I'm fucking with you, D. Go okay, on. thank you. Ow, remember you hit me there earlier, so it's tender. All right. Try to um, read. Let's get right into it. Uh, your boy, Antonio Brown, is once again back in the news. And no, of course, it's not for anything positive. Apparently, or more allegedly, as of earlier today, he is wanted by the Miami-Dade police. And I use the words wanted because at the time, earlier today, apparently he has yet to be found for them to make this arrest for again, allegedly, being delinquent on his child support payments. One baby's mama reported him being behind her monthly payment of 15000 Um, And then in April, he, he was also... Um, again reported to the courts and was looking to be arrested back in April for 30,000 at that time. He has six biological children. Um, anyway, and various news sites are still estimating that his net worth is 20 million, but again, yet he stays in the news with stories of him, I don't know, with various women, and not only just the women and the baby's mamas, but he too, I don't know, I, w- I would think, I'm just asking you, I would think somebody like that with a lot of stuff coming your way like that on your plate i would stay out of social media but he seems to if you ever see any of his posts he 
stays in those stories too, like putting stuff out, kind of looking like it, you know, instigates and then builds up on certain stories like that. Like he, you yeah. know, communicates back to people to keep it going. So I don't know. I'm just confused. But anyway, I, he um, he's 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 he stays in the news like that with right. stuff like that. But not just from them is what I'm saying. He also puts stuff out and says so. So I don't I don't know. It's not it's not going anywhere. It's you proved they point earlier. That's a lot of money to pay for some. Everybody got to have something to say about this. Go, go ahead, ahead, Craig. You go ahead. No, I said that proved y'all point earlier, you know, about, you know, having a baby and not being connected to the mother. It's going to mm. really affect, you know, the outcome of how, you know, how things uh, progress. But I think if a woman has a baby without the consent <laughs> of the father, she should be able, uh, she should be able, she should be able to be prosecuted for robbery. Cause it's pretty. I mean, having a baby by somebody that don't fuck with you is pretty much committing a you know a long term robbery, eighteen year robbery. Mm. You know, can't what you mean? give your rights away as 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 a dad? I mean, you, you asking? Want, yeah. yeah, yeah, you can. Ain't no but bitch gonna let you give your rights away when she you gotta allow you, you to do that. No, they let the bitch. The bitch can tell Man, you you don't have to pay something. child support, uh, uh, but one, you can't do that. Let me tell right. you something. What's so cold? You have about, no rights when you have a baby. When you have, a, let me tell you something. They a woman use the got, female body to hustle she could, you. She could. She ha- it go all the rights you lose. You can, she can have a baby, mm-hmm. she can abort the baby, mm-hmm. she can put the baby up for adoption, mm-hmm. and she could choose any man in America to prove that he's not the father. You know what I mean? I beat a child support ch- test twice, and they still found me guilty. You so, feel what? The child is mine. You know oh, what I mean? And yeah. I beat the DNA twice. And I mm-hmm. beat it. Beat it. <laughs> Came back negative, negative. She told the judge, honey, it don't look like him on the picture. Just like, well, it really don't look like. I'm like, who's the, who's just the, DNA. I said, get the DNA. I said, right. I, what, it looked like on the picture. I took the DNA. Y'all sent me to the place. Y'all told me where to go. I went there. They come back 99, and y'all still said it's not mine because she said, "Don't look." Did you say it? I said, "Who the judge? You are." Wow. Man, I'm gonna tell you something. But here's the, what she, don't, what you don't fail to understand. You gotta babysit your child and, and let and, it go and, swimming and, with her ex-wife. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. Here go what they fail to understand, though, Corey. You can chase me around on this planet all you want, but guess what? More than gangbangers, more than police, don't nobody kill black babies like abortion clinics in the black woman. Hmm. They are they put all them abortion clinics in the hood. They don't put them in in, the, in Beverly Hills. You go to the hood, there's more abortion clinics in the hood than liquor stores. So it's a lot of them sneaking in there because they make it okay to kill them. Then if we say something real, we sound like the villain. You but know they the put end- the speaker in the bitch stomach now so you can hit a baby when it get yanked out. <laughs> <laughs> but they don't want to see if you tell them wrong. Yeah. You sound like a hater, but guess what? When you go to, when you, when you, because guess what? A lot, all these women chasing these niggas around, you picking and choose who you want to have the baby by. Right. If, if, if he valuable, have the baby. Right. If he not valuable, yeah. kill the baby. Right. Man, you shouldn't kill no baby. I'm, 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 fuck all that abortion shit. You killing these babies, you a killer. Right. So you could, you could chase these little, these good dicks you want to chase around on earth and don't throw all the dusty little, you know, throw, come on, man. But at the end of the day, you're not getting to heaven. Right. The baby's going to be right at the pearly gates. Yeah, that bitch is. <laughs> wow, okay. They don't want to hear that part. You say that part, you sound like a hater. Because yeah. really? we're yeah. not allowed to talk about abortions, yay or nay. That's a silent hustle. Right. You know what I mean? But then as soon as you give them and uh, you, you don't get along with that woman, she going to run to the white man and play victim and throw you under the bus and use the baby as a shotgun. Right, she using the baby as a shotgun. Right, and then really, she runs to the white man and go get all the white privileges. Right, and right. then you over here looking like a deadbeat daddy. Right. Bitch, you make it, you, that's deadbeat pussy. The you girls make a need decision. to understand yeah. that you need to have an abortion if I have no connection with you because I'm tired of getting in these major car accidents with bitches in there while they're pregnant. <laughs> 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 go ahead, D. I know you Put ready. Pump, pump, Marcus, pump, you got pump, something pump. you want to add? No, go, no, go, no, go no, ahead, be waiting on right. the, the games. I was looking yeah. forward to sucking them titties. Be <laughs> remember right. me? Nah, no, bitch, you don't remember you never gave me a name i know you don't <laughs> go ahead d what you okay. got uh michael jackson oh my goodness what happened? uh th- this is upsetting pretty disturbing to me that the accusations of sexual abuse against mj are being revived in an appeals case they actually got it the two guys that of course that documentary was based on <laughs> i guess his name's Ray- wade robson and james safechuck that's the HBO documentary that Leaving Neverland was based on. 
um, around them and their accusations. Um, they appealed because, as you know, it was um, it was a uh, 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 how you say that shut down by the courts, but they they they've been fighting it for all these years since 2019 um, to get in a, to appeal it, and they and they got it. So it was just granted. So they're actually going to bring up another case. Um, so we'll see how that goes. But I, I'm just this is I'm like wow, this is just too much. So so the Jackson the Jackson estate said the attorney for the Jackson state state made an announcement yesterday saying that the Jackson family is very disappointed and that they remain fully confident that Michael is innocent of these allegations which are contrary to all credible evidence and independent cooperation and which again were only first made years after Michael's death by these men he the lawyer said motivated solely by money allegedly That's so cold. How is it legal to, if the to keep doing that present? And they waited. It was seven, eight be, years after be, he died. That should be a, a, a law. The motherfucker not here. You can't. It's sad. There's it, no yeah. case. The per they not here. It's over with. You know. It's already been a case. Want me to tell you why they bringing this case back? They want that estate money. And, well, it ain't just that. They have to shame Michael Jackson. Because yeah. as Michael Jackson got older, mm. he spoke against the community that destroys everything. And we don't and have to platform. say who they are. Right. They are the people that make you apologize for telling the truth. Mm. The people that make you apologize for telling the truth do not like Michael mm -hmm. Jackson yeah. because Michael Jackson became self-aware of who he was and what was being done later in life, and he made songs about them. All I really know is they don't really care about us. They did not like that. Mm -mm. Exactly. And that community always be like, oh, I'm gonna make you pay for that. Mm -hmm. So now that Michael's gone, and this case has already been trialed, they are the ones who say whether it can come back or not. They're in charge. They're the ones that make you apologize for everything, <laughs> whether you right or wrong. What those bars? So that's what's happening to Michael Jackson. What they shouldn't know my brother while he gone. That's terrible. Anyway, that is terrible. So we'll that's see what happens guy. with this. It just. Yeah. Got, um, it's okay. always a black man, but you know what? Mm -hmm. Think about all the white men and all the different other races that do way more way heinous worse. shit. Oh, yeah. But they'll bring up Michael Jackson, but guess what? I bet they ain't gonna bring up Elvis Presley and none of them other ones. Well, they keep and doing Jerry it. Lee There's Lewis money. and all yeah. them. They done did way more probably, but they ain't gonna never sweep them under the bus. I saw Jerry Lewis when we was doing Last Comic Standing. He came to one of the things, and I just, no, re I just really was. walked away. Cause I didn't want to say nothing to him because I know all the fucked up shit he said about motherfucking black people. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that Jerry Lewis. I'm talking oh, about Jerry one. Lewis, oh, old school com comedian, yeah, motherfucker. Blah, 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 blah. The, the buffoon. Guy. Yeah, the telephone yeah. guy. He was a buffoon. That's what he was. Look at his shit. He was all buffoonery. Was his material, blah, 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 his material, blah, blah, blah. he used to say Tell bad things about black people? Yeah, what? I don't know that either. Oh, what? 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 No, y'all better look was, at these motherfucking he, was comedians. He was he worse than Don Rickles? Don nah. Rickles was terrible, but he was funny. He was funny, funny. He was funny man. Was Don Rickles was a he, had, he was you a know, mean, he used to talk about everybody, mean though. motherfucker. Bob get? Hope, though. Yeah. Bob Hope used to be at them motherfucking <laughs> army shows throwing niggas under the bus. <laughs> Making them good old boys. He don't want to mess with us good old boys. You oh, know what I'm saying? Man. Yeah. Now, these comedians always, it was, it's always a that, garbage yeah. motherfucker mm -hmm. getting a chance to be famous. Okay. All right, so we'll see what happens with that. Um, Try to read another one, D. Be quiet. Uh, although I'd love to attend this concert, i kind of excited at the same time. Eh, I don't know. I have my reservations about buying these expensive tickets. They go on sale, I think, tomorrow. Hold on. Lauren Hill, and she has the Fugees performing with her to open up be before her show. It is to celebrate the 25th anniversary of her solo album, The Miseducation of Lauryn Hill. Oh, that's gonna be fire. And they, and they, it's gonna be fire, cause, um, and they, they planned it all out so that Praz, who is still out, he has not been sentenced yet, um, can perform with them. It is a 25, I think, city oh, that's tour. Gonna be fire. It's gonna be fire, so, you know. And the last, this is a picture from their last performance a year and a half ago at the Roots picnic. So everybody's pretty excited about it. Um, you said they're going to be here in LA? I would love to. They do. They do. 
Saying no, they haven't snitched. been sent. They haven't sentenced him yet. So What's he's like, he he's waiting. Who? Uh, Twenty years. Pr- That's what are you talking about? What, what was Squad Joe? Pride. The Pride story that we were talking about. He yeah. said, "What was he? He did a deal with the Chinese." Said, so we'll yeah, see what he's facing. Yeah. I don't know. He said they're been, doing it here. Yeah, they're doing um, the shows locally here. Are one in L.A. and yeah. one in Oakland. Is it soon? I would just love um, to ask Lauren next, Hill. Are, are you going to go on stage in a timely manner? Oh, just because she started that. It's known for making the crowd wait. Hours, hours before have, she come out there, I and I think is that right? I, I think that's some fuck shit. One, yeah. Lauren Hill had one of the greatest albums to ever be released. Bad album, the yeah. Miseducation of Lauren Hill was one of the greatest albums ever released. But the way she did the audience make motherfuckers wait hours mm. to hear her. That ain't no cool why, shit, why they bitch. Do that what, what, what? what? Insanity. <laughs> Insanity. You know how many? Crazy. Come on, Scrancho. This is the entertainment business. How many sane entertainers do you know? I don't know sane uh, entertainers. Yeah. Who is sane? Everybody crazy, but That's I think. What, do you think they lose their mind on the way, or they already they already lost their yeah. mind, and then they hit a lick? I think they're so yeah, they're creative, late. it kind of just doesn't. You know, it's like Ugh, it's crazy up there. But it's some comedians. Imagine if they really got famous. How fucked up they'd be. Oh shit! Okay. Wee. Can you, can you yeah, just think about it? Uh-huh. <laughs> man, man. They be oh man, a few just came off the door. Man. 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 I know which one. That's why I got respect for motherfuckers like Elton John and shit. Them motherfuckers are who they are. But them comedians don't never get famous enough to talk about that. Dick in the ass! Okay. <laughs> uh, moving on. Anyway, um, <laughs> two documentaries. Talk about that on stage, motherfucker. <laughs> okay. Mm. Oh, I love that picture. That picture looks great. Talk about oh, how you man. wipe your ass and the rag fall in. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, moving on. Come help me find this rag. Trying to I figure think he need a rag detector over his head. Oh, oh, man. Hold on, it's in your stomach. It's in your stomach. And he got a vacuum in his head. Right. He <laughs> come with the raw truth, man. Right. Oh, then you got to take some motherfucking... Uh, <laughs> oh, God, I know where this is going. Let's move on. All right. You got to take some K.O. Peptate to get that rag out your head. <laughs> <laughs> it's too deep in there. Yeah, it's past oh. your belly button. <laughs> How you get it past your belly button and you were standing up wiping oh, your ass? Your ass hole too open, boy. Oh, okay, man. are you done, Dundee? <laughs> Crocodile Dundee with me. Okay, so two documentaries oh, I could man. recommend still in lieu of the anniversary of hip hop. We, we do have the rest of the year. Um, they are both on Showtime. If you guys haven't um, checked it out, this one is worth, they're both worth checking out for sure is the Biz Marquis story. I don't know if you guys heard of it, but it's on Showtime. They did an excellent job, especially his widow, um, Tara Davis. Uh, please stay to the end after the credits and see a specific little statement that she makes. It's pretty heavy duty, so I, I, I love that. Um, good job, Tara. Um, so again, the Biz Marquis documentary. And then also r- following that on Showtime, same, same channel, it usually connects and runs right after it is the Ralph McDaniels um, story of the video music box. So if you are old enough to know what that is, it was pretty heavy duty, but check out the documentary. It stars and is produced and um, narrated by Nas, of course, Nasir Jones. So it's pretty heavy duty. Nas both, the rapper? Yep. So both of them are. I ain't both, never heard no gay shit on Nas. No. And that is my, that's one of my crushes. Uh. I mean, I got respect for that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, me too. I got respect for that. Nas, go get it. Why? Mm-hmm. And you can't I, say go get it to some of these niggas. They be like, what about you, <laughs> nigga? <Uh-oh. laughs> and while we're on it and rap and everything and hip hop, I want to say, and they're watching every show because they just text me again. Anyway, peace to uh, Jizza and Killer Priest. It is Jizza's birthday today from the Wu-Tang. If you don't know who I'm talking about, it's his yeah. birthday today. And also check out Vedic Vape Room. That is the homie Killer Priest new album. It is out. Please stream it. And he's, they said they'll come on the show soon. So. Okay, D, you keep saying you're going to set it up and shit. Why you ain't set see, the shit see, up? See, Priest, see Tell how the they, nigga to see? leave the other shit in the past, whatever y'all doing, and just come on oh, the show. God, you stop. still going to talk about it, Oh, him. Well, y'all yeah. sleep on D. Oh, stop. No, anyway, they'll, they'll come on. I'm um, with my dick. Respect, Moving on. But Happy respect. birthday, man. That's right. Jizzle. I wonder if they're going to do another tour. That'd be, that'd be dope. Let us Wu-Tang know. See? Be uh, fire. Hit me back, right? Are you guys performing anywhere soon or what's happening? Priest, let us know. Hit me back. Man, we'll take energy on stage, bro. Hey, Ooh-wee. man, be crazy. And they be sleep. Oh. Okay, just Marcus, you gotta birthday. stand still on stage. You get musty quick. <laughs> anyway, rest in peace. You get tired um, quick, so you gotta stand still. <laughs> 
Uh, Ron Cephas Jones, if you guys know who he is, the biggest role he had as of more recently was This Is Us show. He passed away at the age of 66. Um, his rep said it was a pulmonary issue, which means, you know, you're breathing and all that and everything. But um, they didn't specifically say it was what it was from, but I like that guy. Yeah. If you guys don't know, you got to look him up. But, the um, Uncle Long paid in full. The old dude. Oh, yeah, 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 he's yeah. a great actor, so rest yeah, in peace. Yeah. Rest in peace. Um, Didn't he play in The Wire? Yep. Yep. The Wire. The wire too. There the you wire. go. The yeah. Wire as well. Is that the nigga off that movie, The Maz, where he was like, The Doctor? Wait, was he? Yeah, it is him. That's him? Is it really? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah, he, he okay. played a lot of shit. Hey man, that's that stuff they put up in you, if you ask me. It's that stuff they put up in you. I'm talking about that you gotta do this in order to work. Mm. Oh, oh, yeah, the old thing out, we shot. can't say it. Oh, you we can't say it. Oh, bop, bop, bop. You, you didn't can't get no say shot, that. did you? Some nigga shot at you. No, I said, you gonna play it off on the you did. You play it off on the yeah, because we can't say that word. Anyway, you know um, they take your voice if you talk about it. Oh yeah, the yeah, shot, yeah. yeah. I'm talking or about the, the shot show. The, the uh, shot. Oh, the three points. Oh, there man. you go. Oh, right. about the Moving on. Okay, so you, big three tournament. Last you bitch thing ass man, motherfucker. Man, anyway, last Damn. last thing. Let me get this last thing off so oh, she can no. get dropped off. I just want to make the connection. No, because we have a word of the week sometimes, and I want to use this one in connection. Squid. With... That's what happened when you were glasses and they strong. Very funny. <laughs> um, <Yeah, D. laughs> Again, because we brought because we brought up Lauren Hill and that and that dope ass tour that's about to drop <laughs> um the word of the week is <laughs> reciprocity i know you guys heard her when she says it right in x factor right you yeah know, reciprocity Pretty do you simple. guys know what that means reciprocity yes. is when mike when mark is dry off his shirts under the arm <laughs> all right it's, it's basically it's, the mutual exchange mutual. of energy and support so like let's just like say, i said in a relationship the mutual exchange of energy and support between partners there's different types of reciprocity now generalized reciprocity is giving without expecting a specific outcome. So balanced reciprocity is an equal give and take, and negative reciprocity is unequal. So we the don't word know what the, the fuck you said, D. I ain't going to lie to you. No, when, you know when Lauren Hill says that on Recipro X Factor. Reciprocity, yeah. reciprocity is a pretty common word. Lauren Hill, yeah, I tell I her, you can't, I can't fuck no bitch with hair like mine. You know, of course. Oh, gotta, my God. A, you got to do something. We can't be looking like this washing up in the sink. <laughs> I'll be like, look, Lauren, goddamn it, you got to get you a lace front. I can't leave hey, her Hey, Lauren Hill is fine as a motherfucker. She though. is. You think so? Hella yeah, talented. She look like Nelson Mandela, oh, nigga. Oh, stop. <laughs> you don't think so? Lauren Show Brady. a picture of Lauren. Hey, hey put Come Nelson on. Mandela next to Lauren Hill, and hey, I'm telling no, you, you're going to see twins. You, she fine. Of course, you really look at her? You telling me she fine right there? Cool. You didn't yeah, see that picture, did you? Chocolate <laughs> well, you look like a human rhinoceros. Everybody nigga. has different flavors. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, Scarto, you didn't... ain't standing on that shit. Nah, she... You just being nice, nigga. Nah, I love Lauren Hill, homie. She look at she just naturally beautiful, effortlessly. See, there you go. Man, if you don't get that motherfucker. <laughs> Donovan McNabb here and bitch the fuck up out yeah, I know you ain't talking about nobody like Donovan McNabb. And last, because I got to run to the bathroom. Black dude off my squad. Look at that bitch up out of here. Last, 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 last. last. Here, I want to give our condolences. So on a dumb lower note. Put that like picture up there when you find it. Oh, go Lord. Ahead, Any of our condolences um, and our thoughts go out to those affected by the, uh, the Maui... Uh, Lahaina fire. They say that shit wasn't no fire. Well, one hundred. They were showing dead. places where shit burn up, but the grass still green. Well, we'll, oh, wow. see, we'll, see, we'll see stuff like that happen, yeah, just like the nine eleven where stuff like that. Anyway, it's so a lot of the rich people shit ain't burn up. Our condolences to everybody that was that shit uh, come, affected. Hey, I, I, I don't want to get my my channel took so over this shit, but I, when I saw that <laughs> shit, it was like, oh yeah, the wildfires in Maui. I was like, cap, mm, Nick. Mm, oh, man. cap, mm. Nick. You think it was Cap? Look at that. You telling me she don't look like Nelson Mandela. You Damn, telling me. No, nah, man. Come on, man. God damn, dog. Oh, wow. So, okay. So, Jizza. I am Malcolm X. Look at that. Anyway, Jizza and Killer just hit me back. They Get are that on Muhammad tour. Ali face bitch up out of here. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, they yeah. answered your question. They said they that, that Wu-Tang is on tour right now with Nas, and they're headed to Egypt on the 26th. That's what's up. But they are definitely coming We root for you, Wu-Tang. Yeah, come on. Look come on, y'all. We root for y'all, man. <laughs> yeah, man. It's going to be a big day when y'all come on, man. Much respect. Ghost face, come on. We're going to follow y'all yes. when y'all leave the show and see what D going. Whatever. But look up. 
<laughs> so what we go? We go get it in today, or we gonna just let oh, it ride? I, I gotta go to the restaurant. All right, we'll check it out, my man. With the beats, Mr. Lansky in the house. He's I heard here. he got a new He's folder. Here. That motherfucker different, dog. Y'all motherfuckers sleep, man. It's, see, out here in L.A., man, you can't judge people by how they look, man. <laughs> I'm telling you, it, man, this man got raw business. You dig? And we going to listen to one of them and motherfucker put this song together real quick. Motherfucker 5150, we about to take a break. Motherfucker go, go piss. We'll be back.
150 show. The 5150 show. 5150 show. The 5150 show. 5150 show.
150 show. Fifty-one fifty back in the house. Up your girl house with things in her mouth. God. Ain't no doubt. Come on, fucking, we kicking it. Y'all good? Everybody straight? Hell yeah. Y'all know how we do. We do these little puss ass songs we try to put together during the break. It ain't nothing, it ain't nothing formal. We just motherfucker be freestyling. Let me tell you something, man. This is practice for what you do. It ain't just rap, you know what I'm saying? You ain't got to rap in between the songs. You can sing between the songs. You can talk in between the songs. God damn it. I'm saying, why the hook, why the hook after the hook? You know what I'm saying? You do what you do, man. Ain't no pressure. D, you try to join in. Give me that <laughs> motherfucking beat, nigga. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Hey. This song based off shit that goes down in the game. Hey. Whatever you on a motherfucking tour or whatever. Hey. You gotta let that motherfucker understand this. Check it out. Pay me my, my money, money before I knock you out. out. Hey. Yeah, hey, you did. I like that, I like that. Pay me my money or I'm gonna knock you out. Pay oh, my shit, shit you dig, shit you dig. Yeah. Pay me for this fucking gig. Yeah, I'm Corey Hoker. Hey, I'm down to poke em hey. in the eye. If you try, hey. my money, don't deny. Hey. I've been working too hard in these motherfucking fields. When it comes to my check, get my shit together. That's for real. CC Hokum is on the 51, 51 motherfucking 50 show. Everybody know I go raw in each and every nasty hoe. Cause hey. I ain't going out like a simp. I'm going out like a pimp. This bitch I fucked in the ass cause her booty had them big old dip. Pay me my money or I knock you out. I need my shit you dig, my shit you dig. You gotta pay me for that fucking gig. Pay me my money or I knock you out. My shit you dig, my shit you dig. You got to pay me for that fucking gig. Pay me my money before I knock you out. I need my shit you dig, my shit you dig. You got to pay me for that fucking gig. Pay me my money or I'm gonna knock you out. Shit you dig, it's shit you dig, Craig, give it to him on the rig. Hey, a dollar show, man, can't play them games with me. Cause I'ma bring that thing with me, it's gonna be flames with me. You niggas monkey mouth, lying through your teeth with it. You dim with it, my nigga, and I just shit it out, out of rebuttal. Uh, me and the real gangsters gonna huddle, come back the next day for my money and lead a whole motherfucking town, muffle, ruffle. Feathers. I don't do this shit for pleasure. I'm trying to make my life better by cracking jokes. Take off your sweater and chill with a nigga real quick. And the beast about to be over trying to catch it. But I'ma pass it to my nigga over my right shoulder. Scroncho. So we can do his thing. Head honcho. Fuck him with this microphone. You gon' get this shit. Man, though. Pay me my money or I'ma knock, knock you out. I'ma need my shit, shit you dig. Shit you dig. Gonna pay, pay me for that fucking, fucking gig. Pay me my money or I'ma knock you out. I'ma need my shit, shit you dig. dig. My shit, shit you dig. Gonna pay me for that Marcus, fucking gig. Marcus, what's up? Pay me my money. Oh, bitch, you don't know. I'm about to come to your crib and uh KO your bitch ass. Cause it's finna be a problem, but this nigga ain't paid me my money yet. I think I'm finna rob him. Hey. Man, nigga, that shit ain't working. It's finna be a replay of Scruncho and TK Kirkland. Hey. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, hey. Shit you dig, shit you dig. Gonna pay me for that fucking, fucking gig. Pay me my money or I'ma knock, knock you out. I'ma need my, my shit you dig, my shit you dig. dig. Scruncho, what for you got to say? Gig. Well, my name is Scruncho. I didn't say Huncho, I'm a dog. But I don't eat out, folks. I'm from Long Beach. You think a nigga can't rap? 
Snoop got my back, but he didn't take me that. Pay my my money for that fucking gig. Don't forget about the, all the shit you dig. You know what I'm about to say? You gotta keep it falsy. I'm in the yard rapping because my shit is bossy. You know, and let me ask you one question before I kick it out. Hey, Charleston White, his money before I knock you out again, <laughs> again. Pay his my money before you knock him out. Pay my rap so dope. Let me get one more verse before I shut this verse. Because I'm beginning to rehearse. Because I was <laughs> talking with this shit. Now, you know what I'm saying? Now, I'm going to ask you one question before I let you go. Pay Charleston's money right. And who raised you, dog? TK Kirkman. Use a hoe. I'm gonna need my shit, shit you dig, dig. Shit, shit you dig, dig. gonna pay, pay me for, for that fucking gig. gig. Pay, pay me my mother or I'll knock you out. Shit, shit you dig, shit you dig, gonna pay me for this fucking What you got to say about the shit? Oh, give me my money, sucker. My oh. name is OGD. Hey. I don't kick it for motherfucking free, you see? Hey. I ain't greedy or needy. Just fly and chill. Some say I'm real, so take a pill and sit your ass back. No need to get foul with me. Hey, hey. Play this gal or I'll act up, you see. Ah, uh, let's go. Hey, hey. let's go. Let's go. Hey. Let's go. Hey. 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 You know. hey. 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 What a paper at? What a paper at? What a paper at? Put my dick where you come out just so I can talk trash. What up? What up next week? Hey. He's all drunk. He tape. Don't get mad. Just don't get that young nigga his goddamn bag. Hey. It's gonna look real sad when he comes through with the police and with this badge. Oh, pay the demand if you're not. Hey, I'm gonna need it. I'm gonna need it. And I'm not being strategic. Look, the bitch bit the apple. Yeah, she eaten it. Now the serpent, serpent spoke to your bitch ass last evening. Said you better pay for a nigga if you want to continue to keep breathing. And heathen. Yeah, I'm a heathen. Motherfucker, I'm feeding. Agreed type of style. Fuck it, I'm off tonight, but I'm still wild. A motherfucking predator on the prowl. Living on the aisle, by myself running a mile to get in shape so I could take what a nigga should have paid me a long time ago. My nigga, play the tape. My nigga, I'm an eight. Fuck it. Pass it to my nigga so we can spit hey. the shit. So me ask you your swing on niggas, he say, hey, take that nigga. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Take that nigga. Uh, take it. I don't care if you think. Don't get the trigger. It's like, yeah. Take that nigga. Take it. Hey, I'll scratch your nigga. <laughs> Take it. Take it. I know I'm been sound awkward and I know not rap. I might as well pop back and kind of bust this cap. But let me ask you one question that you might not know. Uh, you robbed Eddie Murphy before his show. Uh, and then you robbed Pup Daddy and Run DMC too. You robbed everybody, but you didn't do me. Because when you robbed, tried to rob me, you caught these things. <laughs> one, two, three, then you pressed them charges. Use uh, a rat and use a snitch. And guess what? The motherfucker can't take a lick. you will be blessed because in heaven you gonna dress like Marcus dress. <laughs> See Hoka, everybody know what I do. It's be I so awkward. Try to play you like no motherfucking fool, hey. but I get shit done in a real way. I don't fuck with you if you get. I hey. ain't I hate you, but I'm definitely gonna rate you. And if we get into an argument, you damn right, I'm gonna take you to that place you like to go to and dig in the nigga's ass. Hey. I don't care how long ago, that's a very shameful pass. Hey. Y'all get hey. it up for Corey Hope and the Hamburglar. 
That nigga over there dressed like a goddamn construction worker. Hey. Well, uh, good. All a nigga can say is wow. I need my money stacked up big as Shirley from what's happening now. Somebody grab the plow. Somebody grab a cow, cause I'ma milk it. My nigga, fuck it, you gon' feel this. Especially when I kill this. Yes, I'm one of the illest. Niggas in the building. That's why everybody starts shielding. Niggas out here, they gon' motherfucking be what they gon' be. Don't be like Darlene when you can't motherfucking see. Yeah. Don't be like Craig and he'll lie and go back. Hey. Don't be like Scrancho. He'll cop back and smack. Don't hey. be like Marcus. Under his arm is wet right now. I bet he won't show it. Cause hey. that shit is about to drown. Hey. Under your arm is like a puddle of goo. I ain't lying. Let me hey. see your armpits, motherfucker fool. Hey. Do this, Leave me alone. Do this, Let this nigga. shit go. You over there sitting looking crazy with a bald faded fro. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A bald faded fro. Hey. We all know Corey Heavy. Nose wide enough to snort a peanut butter and jelly <laughs> sandwich. Whole life out of balance. I take it as a challenge. I make a bitch walk across the chalice and treat her like a motherfucking uh, peasant in a palace. I should have moved to Dallas and fuck with this bitch named Alice. But she ran what off you on say. the plug. That's fine. But let's stand up and let everybody see your booty shorts higher than mine. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. 5150 in the house. That's right. Houston, Texas, this week. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. There's still some tickets left for the late show on Sunday, late show on Saturday. That's going to be gone. Might add a Friday show. I hope it go that way. You dig what I'm saying? You know, hey, I keep plugging September 9th, Chi-Town, Chicago Theater. Get your tickets Saturday night. This year I'm coming out front talking shit. Uh-oh. Last year, last time I was sad. All right. Huh. I want everybody to plug what they got to plug. Scratch your motherfucking guest. Something you want to let the people know about Yeah, man, anything. let me get my dates on deck, man. I got I got Arizona coming up. I got San Antonio. Uh, I got Oxnard, the first, second, third at the Oxnard Improv. Is that and the first, second, third or what? September. Do you September. have it up on your handles, yeah. like so, on your Instagram? Yeah, so it's gonna be uh, uh at the Oxnard. I got three months on uh, um first, second, third Oxnard. I got November with November in uh, San Antonio, Texas. I got San Diego in uh, November. And look on my Instagram. I mean, I don't know my dates exactly. What I'm is it? What's eight of them. But that's what they're gonna fuck with when you say the Instagram. They're gonna go there. Yeah, go to my Instagram at the only scruncho. It's a new page. Don't the only scruncho. So tap in. All my info gonna be there. Or go to Anthony B. Scruncho. Everything gonna be right there. Tap in with me and I got y'all, man. And hit me and I got y'all back. Hell yeah. Okay. So look, what else getting plugged? Hey, I'm at uh, Broadway Comedy Club in New York, September 14th. Me, Big Ja, and then uh, I got I got Buka Pong coming through. We gonna roast at the end. So man, make sure y'all buy those tickets before they sell out. We gonna be at Broadway Comedy Club in New York. I know I'm taking a chance. That's my nigga though. No, Buka Pong here, he, he, he good for what he gonna do at the end. That yeah. That's that roast I told Buka Pong to go meet the North Carolina. That nigga didn't book no goddamn flight. <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> well, well, what money you gonna do with? You gotta. Hey, you, but his stand up is getting tight, right? But boo funny. Yeah, his stand up is tight. I mean, we yeah, be out boo there funny. standing out in front of the improv on Monday nights. It actually help hone in skills. I want to see Buka Phone win, so that's good. You taking him on the road? Yeah, that's yeah, the big go, homie. Yeah, I love him, yeah, man. Yeah, he's you super know? funny. Hell his yeah. eyeballs gonna pop out his head when that plane go in the air. Bro. Yeah, boo funny than a mug. But yeah, we gonna be at Club Broadway. Purchase that Chill with us Cluster B. Um, and also I'm dropping a, a cartoon special. I did a show in Vegas like a year ago. I took 30 minutes of it and I turned it into a cartoon stand-up special. Nice. So I don't know if that's been done before, oh, that's tight. but I'm about to mm, drop that as well. Yeah, yeah, that's called tight. Get It From that's God. If all you something, get it from God. Uh, and that's it, man. Marcus, what's happening with you, boy? Uh, this weekend, man, I'm at Broadway Comedy Club Friday. Shooting billiards? Huh? <laughs> Shooting billiards with yeah. the outfit on me? I'm fucking with you. Uh, I'm at Broadway Comedy Club Friday, um, St. Louis Helium Sunday, then next Thursday I'm in Louisville, um, 
at uh, Lav Louisville. And uh, after that, I got September 9th and 10th at uh, Upstage in, in San Antonio, man. So I'm back to back, man, for the for the uh, the end of sept uh, the end of August and uh, September, man. So my my um, all my dates in my on my Instagram. Pull up on me, man. For sure, up for sure, man. Uh, New York, man. I'm looking forward to New man. York, man. I, 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 that's, hey, that's bring your A game cities, in New man. York, yeah. That's, that's I did what, it last year. Ain't, I, I, ain't I, no I, joke. Yeah, I fuck, I fuck with New yeah, York, New man. New York ain't no joke. It be a cool spot to fuck with, man. So yeah, for sure, New York and, and, and St. Louis this weekend. Come fuck with me, dog. That's what's up, man. Look here, man. Oh, that's cute. Oh, show. Mainstream. Go ahead. Mainstream tomorrow too. That's Six o'clock. That's cute. Six with Mikey the man. What they do, up. D? What Mikey the man put up for Marcus? That's cute. Like what he say? Hat, top hat, dress shirt, and the shoes. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> that's cute. Mikey gonna be down uh -huh. there. I mean, Marcus gonna be down there formal in Manhattan. They gonna think he's a street performer with the puss ass outfit. <laughs> ah, <laughs> that's what's up, man. Start what you, have you work on the streets, nigga? You uh, coming out there just like this? I'm gonna have the jacket. It's all love up here, man. It's the 5150 oh, show, man. Yeah. We appreciate everybody who tuned in this week. Love you too, Josie. Y'all motherfuckers take y'all nips and pieces and do what the fuck you gonna do, because pretty soon I'm gonna do the whole show with these beats behind it. I wanna see Ooh. you steal it with these beats behind it, nigga. <laughs> they they can do it. I never thought about that. Yep, you know, if you can. put original work behind yeah, your shit, it. Yeah, yeah. it yeah, kind of lower in the back. Yeah. You're right. So I'm letting y'all have this, dog. You know what I'm saying? Right? Y'all do what y'all gonna do, man. I get that shit away for the culture, you dig yeah, what I'm saying? Corey, motherfucking Hokum. We at the Coin Academy, home of the Baller Podcast. The ball home of the real motherfuckers, man. I done met some good people up here, man. You dig mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We about to wrap it up, man. I'm about to go find these motherfucking people in the street that's down for what I'm talking about to let me be down for what I do. You dig? Corey Holcomb in the house. We about. Yep. Hey, yeah. 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 Thank you, Squad Joe. Yeah. Hey, man, Thank you know you what? It was a through. pleasure, man. I, I watch y'all all the time. I'm not just an entertainer. I'm a fan of y'all brand. You know what I mean? I know you personally, but I'm also a big fan of your brand. And, and I appreciate y'all having me on here. So thank you, all of y'all. That's what's up, man. This was a good show. We up out. Peace. Everybody be safe. Now, yo, take us out with that big ass coat on and motherfucking this time of year. <laughs>
Show. 